and I'm sorry to interrupt the video, y'all. If y'all don't want to hear about this, just skip to like four minutes in, y'all. But what I want to tell y'all is a lot of people have been asking me to make a community where we could learn and elevate together. And I finally did it. A lot of y'all be inboxing me, asking me about different ways to make money. A lot of y'all inbox me about different ways to monetize your social media. And I have people just inbox me for a lot of financial advice. So knowing that a lot of people want financial advice from me, y'all been hitting me up for mentorships, I've realized the best thing for me to do is not give y'all a mentorship or make a course, but I've realized the biggest things in the world, y'all, are corporations. If you don't know what a corporation is, it's a group of people working together to run a business. So what I mean by that is, y'all, yeah, you got millionaires that work by themselves, but when you think about Amazon, Jeff Bezos might be the face of Amazon, but it wasn't for the workers that drive the trucks, the people working on the assembly lines, people sending your packages out. Would he be a billionaire? Same thing with Apple. Apple is a company, you get what I'm saying, Steve Jobs on Apple, but without the people that created the iPhones, the people that worked in the factories and shipped stuff out, would Apple be Apple? So the reason why I'm saying all this to y'all is because I'm trying to get y'all to understand that basically, bro, it's real easy to get to where you want to be by yourself, but it's way easier when you have a community or you got a team of people working with you. So what I've done is instead of creating a course, instead of doing a mentorship, we the ghost family, that's what we always been. I wanna keep it that way, but to the people that's been asking me for financial advice, I created an opportunity where now the ghost family has a community where you could join this community. We teach in social media monetization, clothing brand advice. We teach in ways to blow up on social media with or without your face, ways to make money with or without showing your face on social media. Uh, credit advice. We showing all types of different stuff when you think about just being an entrepreneur. It gets really crazy, y'all. It's a lot of info inside there. But beyond just information, y'all, information does get you a long way. But I've also come to a realization, bro, it's not about what you know nowadays. It's about who you know. It's about the people that you know in higher places and the people that have connections. When you look at XXL, it'd be your favorite rapper, but it'd always be that one person you never heard of. And the reason why is because... Bro had connections. He had a good A&R, a good label, a good team. So sometimes having knowledge is half the battle. It's people that's talented but won't get as far because it's somebody that knows somebody here or knows somebody there. So he going to get to where you trying to go faster. So what I want to tell y'all is you got to have the knowledge and you got to have the connections. And that is exactly what this community is for, y'all. It's to provide y'all with all the knowledge to be an entrepreneur. But it's a platform where it's over 150 people already in here, y'all. And we in this community learning together. So as I grow, y'all grow. And as y'all grow, we grow together. They're learning everything I know within my 23 years of living. And I'm learning stuff from them too, y'all. We post in here every day. Uh, it's active 24 hours. It's people that's going to respond to you if I'm not responding. And one thing I can tell you is we have live calls every Sunday. We'll have special guests. We'll have a lot of people dropping in to teach y'all knowledge and just network and provide y'all with a place to where you could learn with like-minded people, whether it be being a clothing brand owner, a vlogger, whatever the case may be, we teaching everything. But beyond teaching, we providing you with a platform where you could talk to people that's doing what you want to do, doing what you're doing, uh, might be a little bit ahead of you, might be a little bit behind you, but we all going to work and grow together, y'all. So if one person in there, six, seven figure business owner, you could do the same thing, y'all. I tell y'all, we always got the same 24 hours in a day. It's just about what you do with them. So for $50, y'all, you can check out the uh, link in my bio. It'll have all the details to the community. It's a 12-minute video that tells you everything that's going to be in the community before you even get in there, y'all. So y'all can go check that video out. The link will be the first link in my description. I'm done with the blabber session, though, y'all. So the people that want to be in the community, it's an opportunity for y'all, for all the people that's been asking. Now y'all got a place to go. Now you got a place to learn. Now you got a place to talk to people. And beyond that, you'll be able to talk to me and talk to people outside of just me, people that you could learn and create a team with. And when we have in our live sessions, y'all, it'll be people dropping in like Hollywood, Shaq, Capri, Quan, and a lot of different people, y'all. So you might have an opportunity to talk to your favorite content creator and ask him questions that you might not be able to ask him on a regular day-to-day -day basis. But all of this will be provided in the first link, man. Y'all go check that out. But let's get straight into the vlog. What y'all got going on, YouTube? Say it's Casper. And we back with another day in the life of Casper, man. No cap, no kids, man. I know I ain't seen y'all in a minute. It's really been like two days since I seen y'all. But I'm trying to get more consistent. If y'all can't tell, I've been trying to get back into like the uh, motion of posting every like two, three days. Because one thing for me is I want to show y'all that no matter how far you get with progression, you still have to make sure you stay consistent. Because when you slacking, it's always going to be somebody that's working. And that person is working, believe it or not, they might be working to the position to be able to take your space. 
And even if they're not trying to take your space, it's people that's always working and perfecting their craft. So it's somebody that's always going to be able to elevate past you in a moment that you get in lazy and feeling like you in a place to where you could be comfortable. I realize that comfortability always is something to kill success. So the best thing for you to do is stay uncomfortable and stay working. But we ain't finna get into a big yap session, man. I'm trying to get back into my vibe of posting all the time. So I've been picking up my camera way more often. In today's video, though, y'all, we about to head out. We're going to go uh, link up with the bros, man. We all finna slide out in the cars. And we're probably going to go to, uh, we got a clothing event coming up tomorrow. I got a couple photo shoots I got to go to. We might do a little bit of shopping like I always do and stuff like that. It's going to be a pretty action-packed vlog, y'all. We're going to be doing a lot of networking and linking up. But all I can say is, man, it's going to be something worth watching, man. And it's another two-hour vlog because I see y'all be enjoying these, man. Another reason I'm doing another pop-up shop video is because the last one got to like 35K views in three days. So I see y'all really been liking these. I just found out that they do pop-ups in Atlanta every two three weeks y'all so if y'all ever come to atlanta man make sure y'all check out the atlanta fashion scene and go to the pop-ups you might be able to see me you might be able to see some of your other favorite content creators and y'all can pick up some five pieces and get y'all some cool clothes man but with that being said let's get straight into the video so look y'all we is oh, i gotta grab the guitar Gucci. So look y'all, we is back into the motherfucking vlog, man. We just pulled up on my boy at Sume. I'm gonna put his uh brand name somewhere right here, y'all. We is about to go into the old abandoned stadium, y'all. I ain't gonna lie though. Now that I'm here, y'all, it's a lot of pic place to take pictures. That shit fine. Say the bando hard as hell. That's like an old fraternity building. That shit hard. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Everything on this street really hard if you wanna be completely the front line. Say we finna got them go uh, sneak into the stadium though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Last time it really wasn't no sneaking. Them folks really don't fucking care. And when you get in there, it be like a hundred niggas in the stadium. No bro, you seen how you ever been there? It'd be like a hundred niggas in that bitch every time. Nah, but I can't take it. Right, but I just can't be like it out. When I came up here one time, some little niggas on the roof. It was five people doing photo shoots. It'll be doing that type of thing out of country. That was so like. Oh, wow. Yeah, I done that, bro. It's down there like you can shoot a movie out of that bitch. I ain't shit. Oh. Somebody said they went inside the uh, abandoned, what's the call it when I was here, though? The abandoned fraternity, but I ain't never, uh, what's the call it? I ain't never take it out, though. They said that bit hard, though. It's two of them. It's that one. Yeah, it's it's yeah all three of these abandoned fraternity be on this type of I goddamn had a photographer, but he said he said, I don't think he was a gangster. He said he was a gangster. I don't think he was. I was like, dude. They on top of the roof. You can't see them from right here, y'all. They probably like fucking ants. I got a wide lens, but them niggas up there, though. Them niggas be out there, bitch. Now, weekdays, early in the morning, it could be a bunch of people out there smoking and kicking and shit like that. Say, look, y'all. Let me see. Say, I ain't held the camera in a little minute, y'all. So, anyways, though, we finna get inside of this bitch, y'all. Huh? You wanna try, you wanna try this hole? I could, shit, I know I get through this whole shit, the fuck, nigga said I'm finna got down, look, y'all, he said, he said, you wanna try this, first of all, twin, I'm a buck 25, I'm getting through anything, second of all, though, ugh, for surely, nah, them niggas broke, fuck out this bitch, fuck, fuck a hole, twin, the whole gate is bent, twin, nah, for sure, these hoes ain't this big as a hole, oh god, that ain't no hole, but that shit, the gate over with, <laughs> that bit finished, God, he could have got through that bit for sure. He could just lift that hole up. Think so? Hell yeah. yeah. So that shit, man, that, the gate is over. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I told y'all last time I was here, I didn't check out the abandoned fraternity. So I'm finna go see what the hell the time I, It might be some homeless folks in the motherfucker, y'all. Last time I was in the stadium, there was so many draws and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I tell y'all what, though. Oh, that boy said mold, question mark. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Niggas say black mold, question mark? We ain't walking in here, y'all. Nigga talking about black mold and shit. Nigga, look at the flow. Oh, hell no, nah, we ain't walking in the bitch. Wow! Hell no, nah, cuz. Oh, man, let me grab that. Let me get that. 
not e not even the whole floor done. It's not even the fact the whole floor collapsed. So and it's the fact that nigga, it's holes where niggas stepped at in this bitch. It looked like a nigga stepped and his foot went through that hole in certain spots. You know, nigga, sight back, man. That's crazy though. So much shit over here. I wonder what really made them start using this shit though, bro. Cause at one point in time, this used to be the go-to stadium. Then they moved it across the street. Say, like, hold up, y'all. We finna go. We finna check out this one, then we finna go down. Yee. I think this one probably the same though. Probably like fucked up on the. Oh no. Nah. It's a bunch of glass on the floor, but this one ain't that bad, y'all. This one actually kind of decent. All right, let's go down to the stadium, man. We got to go on here and get this photo shoot in. Y'all, I got two photo shoots I got to do today. I got to do this one photo shoot for Sume. And then when I leave here, y'all, I got another shoot I got to do uh, for, 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 what's the name of it? I think it's like Anti-Broke. Anti I think that's the name of the brand, y'all. I'll let y'all know when I get there, but say, I ain't going to lie, y'all. Abandoned stadium really hard, though. Now, mind y'all. Oh God, y'all folks gotta come. Y'all gotta come look at this shit in person and just check it out for yourself. But I ain't gonna lie though, I damn near explored the whole shit in one of my other vlogs. So when I figure out what vlog it is, I put it on the screen so y'all go watch that bitch. But yeah, y'all, yeah, everything in this bitch abandoned as hell. This like the old concession stand, y'all. Say this one. Oh, they clean this bitch up. What the hell? No. Somebody living in this bitch. Corn on God. Nigga, this bitch is twin. Last time I came here, if they go watch the other vlog, it was shit all over the floor. This bitch was dirty as fuck. You see that broom? Mm -hmm. You see that bed right there? Twin, you see that broom on? You see that bed right there, twin? Nigga, none of this was right here. So some homeless person has came through, cleaned this whole shit out, made him a little place where he could lay down his clothes right there, twin, his water right there, his toothbrush right here. That's crazy. You can smell it. Nigga, and then look, he got a whole fucking little stand with all this stuff on it. Say, little bro probably just leave during the daytime and come back at night, y'all. This shit crazy, though. Oh, because he be shitting in that bucket right there. Oh, I knew, I know it smells. Ew, that nigga, got a, that nigga got a shit and pee bucket, y'all. Yeah, that's true. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's time to go. Oh, yeah, it goes down the great stuff, dude. Nigga say, boy, what in D for, cuz? On that trail. What the hell going on? I ain't gonna lie, buddy, boy, these boys, I got them. These niggas be living out this bitch, though. That shit is crazy. The toilet paper and the doodles is crazy, y'all. Huh? Oh, God. God damn it. I've been spotted. <laughs> God, God, God fucking damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> niggas, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's another thing. But I was right here, twin, playing around with my phone, twin. If that bitch, nah, it didn't. But if it would have dropped twin, I ain't gonna lie. You know what's underneath this shit, right? Maybe. Train tracks. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. This shit connected to uh, the martyr. And the martyr still function. I ain't even know that shit, twin. Me and my cousin, dumbass, was talking about walking on the train tracks, twin. Next thing you know, nigga, soon as we get to talking about going, finding a way to get to the train tracks, twin, you just hear some shit go, Aah! and then that bitch come flying, twin. I'm like, oh. I'm like, boy, me and Elite would have been walking on that bitch and got smashed. Niggas would have been potatoes, y'all. Oh, no, nah, that's crazy, bro. It's People been coming out here, bro, because when I was out here last, y'all, this whole grass field was grown up and covered. You couldn't even stand on that bitch. Look like somebody done came through and cut this motherfucker. That's crazy business. And then got this abandoned-ass stadium, and y'all come fix certain shit, but y'all won't use this bitch, and you won't get rid of this motherfucker. Something. Something. Yeah, that's what it's called. Nigga, this a big ass space, twin. Oh God. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna lie. Everything gonna stink out here, twin. If you wanna be real, cause, I'm already, cause, I'm cause I ain't. When I was walking through this shit, twin, I think this, I think it's at least like twenty to twenty five people that are homeless that stay in here, twin. Cause like every room, every little nook with a door, twin. If you open it, twin, it be pallets and shit laid out. I think it's like a whole community of motherfuckers that come here at nighttime and go to sleep. Damn, somebody little dog caught. Somebody done brought their dog out. They bitch buried his ass. No, not the doggy. Somebody done, met, done, done killed Toto, y'all. What the fuck? Nigga, ad done killed Toto. Bro, this fucking glass, boy. 
They say, but they glass every step you take out them motherfucker, y'all. So where the hell we doing that bitch at, Twin? Probably like towards the middle facing this way though. Okay. Not like facing that way. So this in the back. This the whole vibe we got to do. So. Well, like y'all. Like Big ass band on stadium. Big ass abandoned stadium, y'all boy. Damn, goddamn sun right there. Twin, who is the who is the owner of Three Heart? Three Heart, that's my nigga, Mister. He go to PV. Cause he sent when he sent me a piece to him, God. When I had seen the back of your pants said Three Heart, I'm like, bro, I got a piece from that nigga in my shit. Hard. Hey, shout out to you, Brody. Brody, goddamn little little bugs and shit jumping on me, finna spaz on y'all last. You see how the light hitting from right now? Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Son beating. You gotta be you facing gonna, this way. Like as hell, you gonna be a shadow. Yeah, you gonna have to be this way, twin. Damn. Cause the light. Though, yeah. yeah, but the light reflecting back that way for some reason. Yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. That's nasty work. Nah, yeah, this side be. most definitely would have been. That would have been harder. That is oh. the. Hard. Yeah, y'all. We got this shit on, man. We is out here, y'all. But yeah, like sometimes that shit. What's going on? Yeah. Hell yeah. You good? They say, they say shit, y'all. We get caught everywhere, even in the goddamn stadium, man. What your oh, name is, Twin? Cameron, bro. Cameron, nice to meet you, Twin. Nice to meet you, what you be doing? Right now, I'm YouTube. YouTubing? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So, y'all all vlogging and shit. Oh, no. Yeah. That nigga nah. He said, yeah. What he doing? That's the flip nigga. Okay. That's hard. That's Miles Morales right there. That's hard. So, you the flip nigga, Twin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? You got to show me what that means, bro. I know what it <laughs> means, but they call you the flip nigga, Twin. You got to show me. What the hell does that mean, Twin? <laughs> hold up, twin. We finna start. I gotta see this. Nigga say, hold up, y'all. What's going on, brother? That boy got the big camera. What is that? An A7? It's an A7? A7S3. A7S3? Yeah. What uh I appreciate you, twin. What uh lens y'all got on it? Uh Sony F2. I think it's 18 and 2.7. Okay, cool. I don't know, it says it on there. So, so when they say you the flip nigga twin, you gotta explain to my vlog what the flip nigga is, and you gotta tell them your at so they go watch it. I do it all, man. At Hero DW everywhere. Okay. Um, parkour free runner, stunt guy. I mean, I'm sure he'll put up some clips right parkour now. Parkour and free running is hard. That's parkour hard. Free running is like one of the hardest sports you can possibly do, but it's also one of the most fun. You know? That's I mean, hard. I was like ten years old. Um, hey y'all, I don't, I don't think y'all noticed, but he got rat traps in between his feet. <laughs> bro, no, him. Yeah. John yeah, just went through handstand, right going right through mouse traps, bro. Dodge every what? single one of them. Yes. Every single one of them. I just got you on camera doing that too. Y'all yes. yes. out here doing he some uh. He literally rolled through them afterwards. Y'all over here on some Stanley Lee superhuman exactly. shit, man. Yeah, yeah, all all back. Now that's crazy. Yeah, man, we finna get. He this said, "Is that smoke perp?" Nah, that's my little partner. Do a little bit of parkour, whatever, right here. Shit, let's let's show him what y'all could do. Who is, who is fucking? Huh? Ron with Moss. Say, I swear. I'll tell you what, this looks like a Big Mac. You got. Oh, oh shh. Ah. It tasted good. He that said it tasted good. good. Uh, that's that don't hurt. You're fucking good. Bro, that no, shit that just hurts. Hurt. You know that bitch. <laughs> My fingernail. Hand is shaking bad. Huh? What happened to your hand? No, I. He talking about, he, he said when I got my hand well, clipped, we it made him tremble. All, I just grabbed this shit and it just stayed up just, ah, my shit. That's nasty work. Wait, how? I could pop it with my mouth so I can go. Were you guys just like vlogging that? out here, checking out the stadium? Like that. Yeah. We're going to try, at least I, I don't know what these niggas are going to do. <laughs> so, I'm going to put a balloon. I think we should do two each, right? Since we did one last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, each one of us, me, Jacquez, and him are going to have to pop two balloons before we hide. So, I'm going to jump here. Probably going to pop it with my mouth. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna run, jump here, like leap from there, and jump to the other side. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna put one right there, so someone has to like maybe climb around the side, go up, up two, maybe two on the door or something. What platform do you put your content on? TikTok. TikTok. TikTok? YouTube, but this okay. Is for a YouTube video right What's now? your biggest platform? TikTok. TikTok. What you got on TikTok? 7.4. That's hard. That is hard. Is it 4.2 on YouTube? And I'm almost at a million on Instagram. I'm like 800k. That is hard, bro. Off Thank of straight parkour right. content. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Majority, yeah. Okay, cool. And y'all do this every day. When y'all get done setting up, let me know. Cause I gotta get sue my photo shoot. But.
Stand out the internet. She had a stay for Billy Idol. Turn and it ain't giving time. Personal pockets till the top. Cause I got rich with Idol. Only thing. Killing your economy because content creators is what's paying the economy right now, bro. It's not the people that's going to so their the jobs every day, money. sadly. It's the people like us to record videos. So it's like, if you snatch that back, what y'all got? <laughs> I mean, the content creator economy, I mean, there's billions of dollars worth in it, but I think the economy would be fine without content creators. Well, but content creators also aren't all on TikTok, you know. Yep. Like, if TikTok it's dies, they're still Instagram. I feel like they'll all hop to Instagram. Yeah, they'll probably all go to Instagram. Again. Yeah, we're just gonna have to convert over again. Yeah. Into it's just app. gonna make the other apps. Hype up again. Yeah, sadly. yeah. I feel like Instagram Reels has been popping off in the last year. It has started to go up. It's, it's one of the no. biggest growing platforms on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Nobody's really growing any other way. Uh -huh. Yeah. I just hate that. I just hate that though, cause TikTok has the craziest algorithm, bro. Yeah, it's wild. It give everybody opportunity to blow up. It don't matter who you are, as long as you being consistent and you posting some with some type of quality. I agree. Mm -hmm. TikTok like does Instagram, have one of the best have more of algorithms, bro. Oh, I wish my phone was charged for this. Shit, so when you uh. When you said you you're trying to convert over, how's that been going for you? Honestly, really well. Yeah, extremely well. I've been doing like really well, like um, follower wise. How long are your YouTube that? videos? Ten to twelve minutes average. I've done a couple that are like 18, 16, but you ever thought about doing longer? Yeah. 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 I've done like 18, 20 minute long videos. I've also been streaming a lot and stuff like that too. Twitch. YouTube. YouTube. Oh, you've been streaming on YouTube. Okay, so you've been going live on there. Yeah. I ain't never went live on my YouTube. Yeah, I don't know about Twitch because Twitch is like algorithm is uh, far. I don't really know nothing about Twitch. They're um like bro, you can't cuss, you can't do anything on there, bro. Yeah, I'm all sure my I'm all sure. my friends will be telling That's me to get on Twitch and start streaming, Not but I'm like I'd rather get on uh what you call it? I'd rather get on Kick because it doesn't yeah, really limit what you can say, what you can do. Kick is a whole lot better. The only thing people complain about is the fact that you know Twitch pays you for ads, so you can still make ad revenue with people not subbing up. But you know when it comes to uh Kick. Kick don't pay for the for the ad revenue. There's no ad revenue. The only thing you get is either you get that set time if you get monetized. So they'll be like, if you do eight hours, they'll pay you a specific price. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not the same basically. So basically, they say if your fan base don't have money and you're on Kick, you won't be able to get paid as easy as people not subbing and actually sending you. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly subs. Yeah, so he said he gets hard. He said he said it get harder and harder every day. Like as he stay consistent with his journey. But that's what's gonna make it. That's what's yeah, gonna make me appreciate it. I'm from like, Michigan. I flew in for here for like, I get, uh, what, Friday? No, 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 no. I flew here Wednesday. Tuesday. Yeah, I gotta go Friday. back. I gotta go back tomorrow. I, I, ooh, I'm fucking gonna say fuck that shit so bad. Bro. It's hard though. I know. But it's like, if I go back, I ain't got really nothing to go back to. Yeah. I already lost my job and everything. I gotta go find some type of main career to do while I'm working on content and everything like that. Yeah, you can just work. It'll work out, bro. 
I gotta stay consistent. I had a lot of times when I was ready to give up, not knowing that my next move might be my best move. Mm. Wait, man, we gotta make you appreciate this. What I was gonna say, I'm not gonna hold you. I just, need, I just want them to see. You. Look, yeah, I got you. That close, you need to back Cause I know y'all got yeah, stuff y'all gotta do. It looked like y'all was settling in to go. <laughs> yeah, we were. Nah, we about to. It's just cause traffic gets so bad here, bro. So like, uh, especially around 5 p.m. So you just gotta go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. Rush hour, bad. Oh yeah. So niggas want throw them in the cook stove. Let me see one. Coming down for both. Whatever y'all want me to Honestly, bro, I always do a backflip. You, ah. Do something off the fucking board. Already did. We should do, I do a backflip. Fuck it. I'll do another backflip. All right, ready? Yeah. Shit, or go hey, jump over the back Hey, can you do a backflip back back holding the guitar? Hmm? Do a backflip holding the guitar? I could. Can you trust me? Backflip with this? What you mean backflip back with back Oh, backflip with in your hands? Yeah. Go ahead. Sure. sure, I know you know what you could do. I don't know what you could do. Not yet. <laughs> do CC? That would be fire. That would be crazy. And then just put like some audio off over the it. shopping cart? Huh? Off the shopping cart or off a car? No, just back right here, ready? Let me know. Jack, wait, Anytime you're, you're ready, let's go. Alright, you, you go further and I'll do mine. Ooh. Nah, with the guitar is crazy. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Yeah, bro, anytime, man. Hey. two three days so it's probably like two three trash bags waiting on us but we gonna open up we already got y'all i got uh i got one package that i'm kind of excited to open because i already know what it is uh shout out to lost boy archives i'm gonna put their at name somewhere right here on the screen them boys sent me anything i wanted from their collection the only agreement was shit that uh i got a discount a promo for them or something like that so I, I ordered shoes off of their website. I ordered pants, all of that shit free of charge. They got some fire shit. Y'all gotta go check that shit out. But we finna get into this PO unboxing. Let me grab the pieces. We got everything, y'all. We finna start off with my regular PO packages first. And then we gonna open the stuff I ordered from Lost Boy Archives last. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. The stuff from Lost Boy Archives came all the way from Germany. So shout out to them boys. They uh, a company that runs out of the country. They got some fire pieces. Your pieces gonna come through DHL, so you probably gonna have to like, it ain't gonna take that long, y'all. I think I ordered these pieces from them like two weeks ago, so it took about like 14 days to get here. But 14 days, international shipping from Germany? Them boys on point. All right, y'all, so let's see what we got. First PO package is from YCL Clothing. Shout out to YCL Clothing, let's see. Says, yo, Casper, I love your videos, bro. You be motivating a lot. You're hella cool for helping out brands. That's some real shit. No one does that. And I respect it, bro. He said, this is my last hat. I hope you like it. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, YCL.clothing on Instagram. Much love. Shout out to YCL.clothing, man. That boy sent me a... We got us a trucker hat. I like the little chrome heart style cross you put on the back of it. On the front of it, we got his logo. Uh, what's his logo says? It says, um, Youth City Land. Shout out to Youth City Land. That's what YCL stand for. No cap, man. Y'all go get your YCL gear. All right, let's see what we got right here. Right here, we got something from NLT.art, y'all. Say NLT.art. All right. First thing first, we're going to read the letter, y'all. You know, I would read the letters first. Dear Casper, my name is Tay, and I'm the owner of NLT.arc at Clout Baby Department underscore. Okay. Started my clothing brand at 16 years old. You've been a big inspiration throughout my journey, just basically motivating me to be consistent and stay on the grind. I've been watching your videos for a long time, and I've decided to send you two pieces from my brand, including a world tour long sleeve and a beanie. I really enjoy designing clothes as much as I enjoy watching your videos. Keep grinding and making bangers, game. Hope you fold with the gear. Shout out to my boy, man. My boy at NLT.art. Let's see what we got. 
All right, y'all. So I think this is the long sleeve he was telling me about. Let's see what this long sleeve talking about. Actually, before we get into the long sleeve, let me open up these beanies first. This beanie is trim. Look like me a mohair beanie. This motherfucker look like a small animal. This bitch is actually hairy. Some of y'all mohairs don't be looking like mohairs. It bitches be like, I don't know what to call it, but it don't be fucking mohair. The the nigga be sending me an old frizzy ass fucking beanie. Now this is actual mohair, y'all. Mohair is supposed to be like I don't know how to explain it, y'all. It's like a sweater type material. Some of y'all beanies don't really be mohair. That should be low quality. But anyways, though, shout out to Brody. This is an actual mohair beanie. The quality on this shit is fire. I'm not going to lie. I like this shit. What does it say on the front? Clout, baby? That's hard. Shout out to my brother, though, for the mohair beanie, man. And it's actually a decent fucking size. Some of y'all beanies be small as a fucking uh, is a condom, and they barely be fitting on top of my head, bro. So I can't wear all of y'all beanies. But yeah, man. To the people that do have decent size beanies, shout out to y'all. We S U M C B. I don't want to say it wrong, y'all, but that's the name of the brand. We We some C B underscore. All right, y'all. Check this out, though. This is the long sleeve he was telling me about. I like this long sleeve because I ain't gonna lie to him. These stones you put on these bitches, these stones is hard. All right, so look, y'all. If you look at the long sleeve, y'all see, bro, he got like the little multi-colored swarovski stone bro they like rainbow let me be your art but anyways though give y'all a give y'all a full show of what the design look like let's see i ain't gonna lie bro i like this shirt huh? this shit is hard clout baby shout out to clout baby i ain't gonna lie to him i could tell that you pay a lot of attention to like material and stuff like that because that hat was made out of a good material and i don't know what type of shirt you use like i don't know what type of blank this is but this is a good quality shirt too it's not like super heavy on the gsm because it's gonna get warm outside but this bitch is not thin as a fucking gilding shirt i like this shit twin. i like the design i like the shirt and i like the fact that you pay attention to quality shout out to clout baby y'all <clears throat> This one is from NR, NR dot apparel from Indianapolis. Shout out to NR, NR dot apparel. Let's see what you got for me, bro. Oh, shit. Now, this beanie trim. I ain't gonna lie, this beanie hard, boy. The beanie is reversible. Nah, you snap. That boy sent me a beanie. But he said it's reversible. So let's let's talk the beanie out. See what the beanie looking like, y'all. The colors on the beanie is trim though. I like Brent's so crazy because at one point in time, y'all, I wouldn't wear none if it wasn't black, white, or gray. Now I'd be wearing so many colors, bro. Yeah, bro. He said the beanie is reversible. Let's see. So this is one side of the beanie. Okay. Let's see what the reversible side look like. That bitch damn near got down like. It's more colorful on the inside than the outside, I think, y'all. The hell? Nah, that's hard. Reversible beanie, y'all. I ain't never had no reversible beanie before. Shout out to... Shout out to RR. This shit is hard. And then we got... Shout out to NRNR.art with two T's, y'all. Y'all see it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Your business card hard, too. Like how you made your name into a fucking logo. That's hard. All right. See what this shirt look like. If that hat is trimmed like that, I know this shirt gotta be hard as hell. All right, we ain't missing nothing. We got some stickers in here, y'all. They say no risk, no reward. That be hard. You need to put this on the t-shirt, man. That shit's hard. Okay. What's up, Casper? Um, I and the brand appreciate what you do for the youth. The motivation you dish out is real, and I am truly inspired. So here's some fly clothes for a fly nigga. I appreciate you, brother. Say at nrnr.art with two T's, man. Shout out to Lil Shot. All right, y'all. So let's, let's see what all we got, man. Can we open up the beanie? We ain't seen the shirt yet. Nah, this shirt is hard. I like all this colorful shit, y'all. Like I said, bro, being a person that used to wear only black and white, and now I kind of got a respect for, like, color schemes and, like, playing around with colors. And, bro, can you really dress if you can't pair together colors? If you just wearing black and white all the time, I don't really feel like that proves you can fucking dress. It's kind of easy to wear black with black and shit like that. Shit like this, you really got not to put that shit on. But shout out to that, man, man. These, your hat is hard. The beanie is hard. And this shirt is hard as fuck, man. I appreciate you. Oh, God. 
Alright, we into so looks like oh we we got two more PO packages and then after that y'all we're gonna open up this package from uh Lost Boy Archives. So this is from Godol Apparel, G A D O L L Apparel. I don't know if that's how you say that. G A D O L Apparel. Godol or I don't know. I don't know y'all. G A D O L Apparel, y'all. Y'all see this shit. Oh, nigga, these some pants? What the hell is this? Is this a hoodie? What is this? That's a hoodie. Yeah. It's a jacket? It is. It got a zipper on it. Okay. Nah, this is actually kind of hard. What the hell? It's like a gallery department type vibe. I don't even know how to explain this shit, y'all. It's like a jean jacket, but he dyed it pink. It's a pink jean jacket. It's distressed at the bottom. We got a custom tag on the back, if y'all can see it. Boom. That boy got drawstrings in here, like ropes, zipper going down. He got it stitched on the lining, kind of like how uh, True Religion be doing with they stuff, bro. And then the front, it says, good dog. I like this, twin. I'm not going to lie. This is actually a hard, a hard piece because I ain't got nothing like this. I ain't never got no jean jacket, never got a zip up, and I definitely never got a pink one. And it's distressed. That'd be hard. Twin, the only thing that I got to question you about is, where's your brand name, bro? Valentine's Day edition. So this is he got multiple editions of these. I gotta see what the regular ones look like. If you got that colorway for Valentine's Day, I know your regular colorways is true. Leah Goodson. Why wow, this shit came from Tar Boulevard. Shout out to all the people in Atlanta that be sending me clothes. I love y'all folks. I'm not gonna lie. I get so much support from my own city. Alright, let's see what this one says. Thank you for supporting my brand and getting flower with us while trying to expand my brand and create a legacy in clothing no one has seen before. Rock this unreleased piece I've created during this crucial era of clothing. The name of her brand is Crucial Fabrics, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that shit. Crucial Fabrics. All right, let's see what she got. Uh, okay. I ain't want to check out. Um, pop your bitch open. Is that courage? Nah, it just look like courage because he pink. I'm tripping. This shit fight though, y'all. It's like war going on on the front of the shirt. I don't know if y'all can really see the sign for real. This shit is hard. Twin. And it's distressed. Crop fitted. Fuck with it, man. Shout out to you. This shit is hard. Not gonna lie. Crucial Fabrics. I like your design. This shit is player. This shit like a comic book or some shit. Alright, child. So, now that we are done with the regular PO unboxing, it's time to get into this package. Bro, the way they ship this through DHL and tape this together like this is insane. Them folks tape the shoes to the clothes to the everything. Everything's all taped together in one big ass package. Uh, I got some scissors over here, y'all. Let's see. First things first. I think we should open up the shoes last. So with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up the clothes first. All right. Let's see what we got. Shout out Lost Boy Archives, man. Oh, shit. Why this sweater big as hell? All right. So we got a big-ass green sweater. I forgot I ordered this, bro. I thought they said this shit wasn't in stock. It looks like it is in stock, though, because I do got one. Shout out to Lost Boy Archives, though, man. So when y'all bust it open, boom. We got you like a, a nice little... I don't even know what material this is. Y'all wool? I think that's what that is. I think this is wool. But yeah, man. Lost Boy Archives logo on the back. You feel me? Full zip up. Y'all see the material. I ain't gonna lie. They come trim. Them boys got bullets as the zippers. It's like a 7.62 is the zipper. You feel me? Draw strings on here to make the hoodie tighter. Uh, you got more bullet zippers going down it. I'm not gonna lie. Then you got the Lost Boy Archives logo on the back, like I said. So this is hard. This is our one piece. Let's see what this one is, y'all. These are some jeans, y'all. These jeans should be trim. I don't know if these are the carpenter jeans or if, if these are the jorts. I ordered some carpenter jeans and some jorts, y'all. Okay, it's both of them. I appreciate y'all because y'all did not have to send me both pairs of pants. Y'all could have just sent me the jorts or just the carpenter pants. So the fact that y'all sent both, y'all some real ones. Shout out them boys. Lost boys, man. Here go the jorts, y'all. You feel me? 
Lost Boy George. Y'all see the logo right there. We got pockets on the on the side of them. You feel me? You got your find your ways on the back. You feel me? Cause you a lost boy. We got bullets sewn onto the back of the jeans. That is hard as fuck. Nigga, the shit that you put your fucking belt loop through, your belt loops, is bullets on here. That's hard. Then, of course, you got your Lost Boy logo right there. Shout out to them boys, man. Lost Boys is coming trim. You got the jorts. And then right here, y'all, these is the Lost Boy Carpenter style pants, man. Shout out to them boys. Y'all see it again. Lost Boy logo right there. Boom. Got our Carpenter style pants, man. Wear these with some Timmy Wimmies or some some type of oversized something. Y'all see it though, man. Lost Boy Denims. Bitches is trim. They got some type of hard ass green acid wash on them. I think that's what I would describe this as. You got you like some type of, I don't know what this is, y'all. A strap right here. And then, of course, like I said, you still got your bullets as the belt loop. I think that shit is so cool, bro. Like the fact that they stitched on 762s as the belt loops is crazy. So, yeah, man. Shout out to them boys at Lost Boys, man. Got my carpenter jeans. Got my my hoodie. My little fleece hoodie. Got my motherfucking jorts. And last but not least, y'all, I think these is the things I've been waiting to open up the most out of this whole entire package. Because these shoes are trim, y'all. I usually don't wear custom shoes. I usually don't wear, like, non-name brand shoes. I know that sounds like some head-ass shit. Like, why does it matter? But for me, bro, I don't know, bro. I never really too much cared about Shoes that don't have a brand name, so like nigga Nike and you know what I'm saying, shit like that. I ain't never wore nobody clothing brand shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like a custom clothing brand shoes, never wore them shits. So this will be a first for me, but I'm not gonna lie. When he sent me a picture of the shoes, I'm like, no, them shits is hard. I'm like, bro, out of all the shit I've just seen, like I done seen Cool Kai shoes, shout out Cool Kai. He he was making like the the dunks that wasn't dunks or the, you know what I'm saying, the Nike shoes that wasn't Nike shoes. He made his own Nike shoe. I used to see them all the time, but I never thought about buying them. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time I actually bought some custom shoes. Shout out to Lost Boy, man. Oh, shit. Nigga, it's hella stickers in the goddamn package. Bag in the carpenter jeans, fleece jacket, logo wash jorts. And these are called the Summit's Blood Bite Shoes, y'all. Lost Boy stickers in here, y'all. Y'all see this shit. Lost Boys. Ugly. Okay, so look. Go ahead and get into the shoes though. Cause these shoes is trim, y'all. Got like a skateboarder style shoe. Motherfucker got an AK on it. You feel me? It might as well put an AK on the shoe if you putting fucking AK bullets on the on the belt loops on the pants and stuff. So you feel me? You got your AK on the belt loop on the pants and all that stuff. You got your AK on the shoes. Well, I mean, you got your 762 on the belt loop on the pants, and you got your AK on the shoes. But these bitches are hard though, y'all. Not gonna lie, bro. I usually don't fuck with custom brand shoes, but Lost Boys came trim. Y'all see it's a full design and print at the bottom of the shoe. Y'all see we got nice AK mix of uh, materials right here, y'all. Leather mixed up with a little bit of new book, mixed up with a little bit of suede. Inside of the shoe is made out of crazy material, y'all. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, this is a quality shoe. Out of all the shoes that I be seeing, too, they be coming from custom brands. Most custom brand shoes be bullshit quality. I could say that this is up there with the quality of like my Louis Vuitton shoes. Like when I try to bend this, I can't bend the sole. It's it, I can I can smell that this is like real leather and shit, bro. So I appreciate y'all boys at Lost Boys, man. And all the shoes are dated. That shit is hard, y'all. This shit was made in 2020. My shoe is four years old, y'all, and it's never been put on nobody's feet but mine until today. So, yeah, man, shout out to Lost Boys, man. Y'all boys go check out their website, go shop. We was about to get right back into the vlog, though. So, let's do it. All right, so we was back into the video, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We finna have a very productive day, productive weekend. But before we do that, gotta eat breakfast, cook. No cat, no kids. So, today, y'all, it's only me and Quan. That boy, Leek. I think Leek at the house or something, y'all. That ain't no telling. But uh, Lee can't with us today. He ain't with us right now, at least. You know, he'll end up being with us sometime throughout the day. But we ordered breakfast, man. Me and the guys finna got down and eat. You feel me? So me and Quan go. Me and Quan go got down catfield with the. Hold on, y'all. You can't even see shit. We go catfield with the motherfucking grits, man. You feel me? You gotta have that got um, 
that seafood bitch motherfucker on the side. I don't like putting all that shit on my food because some, sometimes, you know, sometimes you don't want all that shit. So put that shit on the side so they ain't going to be disappointed because it's already in your food. Because once it's mixed in, you can't take it out. But if it's on the side, you can mix it in if you want. Free game. Ugh, glad. Even though niggas already knew that. Any fucking ways, though, y'all, we both go catfish with the motherfucking grits. I'm going to show y'all. Hold up. I'm going to get up in there. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Y'all, man, catfish with the grits, man. I see what's going on. Yeah. And then, got now you feel me? Motherfucking fruity pebble French toast with the guy. Uh, hold up, man. I'm trying to get Fruity pebble. French toast with extra French toast shavings on the side. You feel me? Got um syrup. This is some little some little cream. Ugh, glad. Yeah, man. The guy's finna eat though, y'all, and then we finna head out for the day. So with that being said, I'll come back to y'all boys when I get done eating motherfucking bricks. Alright, y'all. So we is back into the vlog. I ain't gonna lie right now. We is uh going to the goddamn pet store because we got a um we gotta get some food for baby ghost. He ran out of food. We got this different type of food at the house, but when he eat that shit, bro, that man be stank as hell, bro. Like, nigga farts be stinking, nigga poop be stinking, bro be smelling outrageous, bro. He be smelling like a grown man. So we be having to get this man like this scientific diet brand food. Bro, this man always be costing me some type of expensive extravagant money, bro, because for some reason, bro, Frenchies have every fucking health problem in the world. I think it's because they not supposed to fucking be here. Like, if y'all don't know, bro, Frenchies is like, well, all these dogs ain't supposed to be here, but Frenchies really ain't supposed to be here. Frenchie is an old lab-made-ass dog that human beings thought was cute, so they went and got down, you feel me? They came up with these bitches. I was trying to say, well, this shit better not be closed. Oh, fucking flip some shit in this bitch. I was trying to say, why the fuck everything closed today? But yeah, y'all, we was supposed to go to Xfinity, so we get a Wi-Fi box to change out my Wi-Fi box because, uh, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, one of the main reasons I don't be uploading as consistent as I used to is because my upload speeds. The fact that I don't be dropping one-hour videos no more and I be dropping two-hour videos, I don't know how many of y'all is, like, getting into YouTube or about to get into YouTube, but when it come to uploading, if you don't got no good Wi-Fi, bro, a video to take, like, 30 minutes on some good Wi-Fi will take like 24 hours. So like I be at the crib, bro. It be saying my video gonna drop in two hours. I put the phone down, come back. Next thing you know, people done connected their phones to the Wi-Fi. Now I say 24 hours. So I have to upgrade my Wi-Fi, bro. So we got like a little one terabyte Wi-Fi box that I gotta go pick up, etc., etc., etc. So we could got them upgrade the Wi-Fi speed and I can start producing my content faster, bro. Cause the only thing that's holding me back is upload speeds. And that's really about it, bro. I record every day. If y'all can't tell, like, I consistently have a camera around me. It's just, like, it's just uploading. But don't the fucking blabber session. As y'all can see, we is at PetSmart. We just gonna go in here and get Baby Ghost food. Uh, Baby Ghost is in the car, but we'll show y'all when we get inside. Because he inside his little dog bag. See y'all boys in PetSmart. All right, child. So right now, we is in, uh, what is this, Petco or PetSmart? Oh, man, they all the fucking same. Well, they not the same, but... Hey, the same. It's a pet store. Hey, boy, they got a chameleon. What the hell going on, my brother? Can I talk to you about your car's extended warranty? Stupid ass. Bro, look at this eye, bro. Yo, look up here. That nigga cross-eyed as hell. Bro, that nigga eye look like a pimple. Ew. What's in this one? I don't see nothing in this one. What's supposed to be in here? Oh, some little lizard. Where they at? Oh, he up there. What's up, little bruh? Mike, 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 Mike. I don't see nothing in these, bitch. What the hell? Ain't nothing in these, motherfucker, man. Those snakes be hiding, though, probably is. Oh, God. I used to have a snake. That shit crazy, y'all. Huh? My little sister used to have a bird. You motherfucker got them. Tweakle, tweakle. Tweet, tweet. Twinkle, twinkle. Brr. Stupid ass. Brr. Bird man. Brr. Oh. Stupid ass. <laughs> it's a damn period, boy. Nah, the colors on you is fire. That boy bright as hell. That hard. Oh, no, nah. look at this nigga. What the fuck? This nigga a rainbow. 
Nature is crazy. This nigga's a rainbow, y'all. The hell? The red ass. Little red ass. Little red ass. It's Theodore. A dwarf hamster. I mean, shit, if you can, I appreciate you. Yeah. Come on, man. Appreciate your family. No problem, no problem. Say, what's going on, my brother? Little bro, no. Little bro. Shit, the rest of them hole hiding. Oh, yeah. It's a mouse. Little red Annie. Come here, nigga. Get the fuck on the ground, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Almost was spotted. Oh, he trying to beat them doonies. He chasing the doonies down. Uh, he's a doonie monster. Get in there. Get that ass. <laughs> Ew. Why he just stand up like that? <laughs> it's Rufus. Stupid ass. Rufus. Bro, why he the only one that stand up like that? <laughs> Little Rufus, man. Rufus! Rufus! Rufus. Come here, Rufus. Bruh. I don't like the way rats move, bruh. Like, they, mice move strange as hell. Oh, this is a gerbil. You say a Mongolian gerbil. Ugly, oh, little boy. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That boy Baby Ghost finna outgrow this little pink ass. Yeah, already is. This shit heavy. This shit. Boy, that boy Baby Ghost done outgrew his bag, y'all. It's time for it's time to upgrade him. I wonder how much the big cost. There ain't no price on it. We gonna start putting your ass in a book bag, baby. Oh, it's fifty. Fifty. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We finna come back and get this bit. Throw this little nigga in a book bag. Boy, what the fuck? They gonna be like, it's a French on that nigga back. That's some futuristic shit, man. Hell yeah, I'd rather hold this motherfucker than this fucking heavy ass shit. You wanna, you wanna see how that nigga fit in that hoe? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say, so we gotta see if he can fit in that bitch before we buy that motherfucker. We buy that shit, he can't fit. That shit gonna be pointless. What the hell is that on the inside? Oh. Oh, oh that's fine. Hey. That's different. How you doing? Say, nah, that's different. That shit don't come with no instructions. No, I'm good. <laughs> we just wanna see. We just wanna see, baby ghost. Can you fit? <laughs> come here. Bro, this man, big head. Go in the bag, bro. Come here, little shit. Bro, go in the. Bro. 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 Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all, bro. Oh, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We gonna get that dick. <laughs> that hard. <laughs> nah, I think we gonna get that bit. That bit way better. Let me see. Is it heavier? Oh, that's better? That bit better? Hell yeah. Send I think we gonna get that bit today. Keep him in that bit. Shit. You know it's another pad on the side of that bit. Say yeah, man. Yo, ass finna get a doggy bag. Doggy bag. I'm gonna lie, y'all. So we trying to find this science diet food for little Brad. I don't remember exactly which one it is. I know it. I know it's this hill science diet shit. I just don't know which one it is, bro. Cause it had. Which one is it, bro? They got a picture of a specific dog on the front of that bitch. Is it even this dog or this one? Smiling in it. Yeah, yeah. What was it? What'd the other one say? Perfect weight. Perfect weight. Small bites. He not an adult neither, though. What the fuck? Oh, smiling mini? Yeah. I think that's probably what the nigga needs, y'all. Smiling mini. I would have sworn so. We finna look. Hold on. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Why did man a little ass bag of dog food like $40, bro? This shit is ridiculous. Nigga need to get his ass some disposable diapers. Oh, pissy ass nigga. This nigga be peeing up a storm, bro. Oh, God, bro. That man in the bag right now smell like a bundle of pee, bro. We got to bathe that nigga before we could even put him in the book bag. We was going to put him in the book bag and just 
We was gonna put him in the book bag and just walk out with him already in the bag, but this man smell like pee, so it ain't no point in buying a brand new bag to leave out the stove five minutes later with it smelling like fucking maple syrup and martibus. Ugh, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That nigga, that nigga be when he pee, he smell like a martibus. If you ain't ever been on a martibus in Atlanta, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you come to Atlanta. If you ever get on public transportation, Marta Bush, trains, any of that shit, them homeless niggas, they be peeing up a storm on that bitch. That shit be smelling crazy. They got, they got kitties. That's crazy. Excuse me. I got a question. Is that a Merle Dotson? It's, yeah, it's a, it's a Dotson. It's a miniature long-haired Dotson. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Nah, bro, you know Kylie yeah. could go crazy if he seen this. Hey, hey she's so small. I know she's just a little, a little baby. For real? Uh, how how old is she? Uh, Twelve weeks. So. That is crazy. Merle yes. Dotson, y'all. Yes, yes. Hey. Yes, I know. It's so fun to see. Where'd you get her from? Um, it was, it was a breeder in like Dallas, Georgia. For real? Breeder, okay. Yeah. She's so cute, yeah. man. That's crazy, y'all. When we was having conversation about like what type of animals we would get. I never thought I would get a Frenchie. I just ended up getting one. In reality, I wanted like a Mastiff, and I'm probably still gonna get one when I get a house. Like, cause if y'all don't know what a Mastiff is, a Mastiff is like them big ass dogs that's like tall as humans. Not Great Danes, but a Mastiff. It's like a bully. You gotta go look it up. But long story short, I never thought I would get a Frenchie. I thought I was gonna get a big dog, like a, a, a pit bull or something like that. Baby Ghost just was like, I don't know, he just, it just kind of happened. I don't regret getting baby goats though. I actually like having a small dog now that I got one, but I'm still finna get a big dog. But like I said though, y'all, it's crazy because when we was talking about the type of dogs we would get, I was like, I want Mastiffs. I get like Merles and Frenchies and stuff like that. And then this man leaked talking about something. I get a Merle Dotson. I said, a Merle Dotson? I said, I ain't never seen no damn Merle Dotson before. I ain't even know they had Merle Dotsons. And what do you know, y'all? After my 23 years of living, I finally seen a Merle Dotson in person. Now, mind you, when he told me about him, I looked him up on the internet to see if it was real, and it was a real thing, but I still never seen one in person until today. This shit is crazy. Lil Shawty got a fucking Merle wiener dog, y'all. They got Merle everything, though, y'all. I didn't know that, like, every animal comes in Merle. They got Merle billy goats. You got Merle Dotsons. Nigga, they got Merle goddamn uh, Frenchies. They got, Mer bro, they got Merle Chihuahuas, bro. This shit is it's ridiculous, bro. But yeah, we finna get out of here uh, and after this. I don't know where we finna go next. I guess I'll pick up the camera and we figure that shit out. But like, that shit is crazy, bro. Niggas really be cooking up these animals in the lab and just like, they like my characters. They just be be picking these motherfuckers and making them and doing whatever. They say, baby ghost, you just cost me a cool 80 bucks. That's not bad, though, for a, a book bag and your... Uh, Prince. But yeah, I was gonna say, that's not bad though, y'all, for a book bag to carry him in so he ain't gotta be in his bag no more and we can put him on our back. And then what? We got his science diet food. I mean, the science diet food is kind of expensive and the book bag was $50. So, y'all do the math, man. But we finna uh, head out, go to the crib. We gotta get this man a bath because he stink and smell like pee because he peed in his little bag, which is also why we bought the other bag in the first place. With that being said, we will see y'all boys uh, at the next destination. That should be like an ass. So right now, y'all, we at cookout. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, it raining like a motherfucker. And these folks at cookout be taking forever to take nigga orders. So, my God, now, leather got wet as hell, y'all. I'm over here trying to dry this bitch up. Because if y'all don't know, bro, if leather get wet and it dry up on its own, your shit might start cracking. So, I be goddamn, I don't let no water take this bit, no drinks, no beverages, no none of that, y'all. So, we over here drying this shit the fuck up right now. I ain't waiting for nothing to dry up on its own. But, yeah, y'all. I know, I know I told y'all I was gonna start eating healthier, which is why I got salads and shit like that at the crib, and I be eating like good breakfast and shit, but I ain't gonna lie. We in some quick fast in a hurry shit. We trying to save money, cause I told y'all in the last vlog, we saving up to go to Aspen, and that trip is literally next Friday. So I need all the money I can in my pocket. So with that being said, y'all, um, yeah, man, we, we eating some bullshit today. It ain't no bullshit, but it ain't no, no good shit. You all good, I appreciate you though. Yeah. Shit, make sure everything in that one. These folks come out. They ain't got no bags, man. Y'all ain't got shit, man. Fuck, yeah. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. These folks come out. They ain't got no bag. What? What do you got? Oh, man. What the fuck? How the hell? How the hell y'all got um a little business with no 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 baggy ass, nigga? 
I ain't even tripping on y'all. Say I just wanted to come here for my little for my little mediocre food. I'm gonna tell y'all what I be getting when I come here, y'all. I be getting me chicken quesadillas, cause them bitches be smacking. I be getting a cheddar style burger, no onions, cause if you let them put onions on your shit, I'm not gonna lie, them niggas gonna put a full pound of an onion, bro. Them niggas gonna chop an onion in half and throw that bitch on your sandwich. Uh, I be getting a little taco in the bag. If y'all don't know what that is, it's like some hood nigga nachos. If you don't know what hood nigga nachos is, it's when they take Doritos, put ground beef and all that shit in the bag and shake that move for up. And then, I be getting a coat float, but I ain't get that bit this time because I ain't trying to really fuck my stomach up for real. But we is about to head out, y'all. We gonna go to the crib. Don't litter, y'all. I shouldn't have did that on camera. But anyway, we gonna go to the crib, kick it for a little bit till we figure out what the next move is. So with that being said, y'all, I will see y'all boys at the shit hard. Say that boy Kwanja had to learn the hard way, y'all. I told y'all, bro, you tell them niggas put onion on your shit, they gonna give you a half an onion, nigga. They put a whole onion on my shit, then. Bro, it's still an onion ring on your shit. That be big as fuck. Yeah, bro, they be ODing with the onions, cuz I ain't gonna I don't lie. even want onions on my shit no more. That shit just blew me. Yeah. They said that boy Elite finally pulled up, y'all. No, yeah. Right. Ugly. So I ain't gonna lie, this boy Kwan in here got them. It's Baby Ghost Bath Day. Hell no. Nah. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Give you a treat, you sit down. This is good boy. This is good boy. Stay. Hopefully it'll make him start liking. We supposed to be going to a pop-up tomorrow. I usually don't bring Stop. baby yeah. ghosts with us when we go to events or when yeah. we go to pop-ups. I really only bring baby ghosts with me when we go into like chill shit and kickbacks and family events and shit. But since we got him this new clear book bag and shit, I feel I feel like the book bag ain't as bad as walking around with a bag in your hand for hours. So Quan say Quan say he wasn't walking around with bro inside the little uh, pouch thing for hours because that bitch heavy. But he say the book bag cool, y'all. So it look like we're gonna put baby ghost in the book bag and take his ass to the clothing uh, pop up tomorrow. Shit. That shit. That shit crazy, though. I don't know what's been going on in Atlanta, y'all, but they've been throwing a lot of pop-ups lately. It seemed like I've been going to a pop-up every other fucking weekend. I was just at a pop-up in the last video that I dropped in the last vlog, and I'm already going to another pop-up two vlogs later. But I love the pop-ups because, for one, it's always new clothing brands with new pieces, so you get to see stuff you didn't see before. For two, I like meeting my, the people that support me and like meeting my supporters in person, and a lot of my supporters be at these clothing events. And three, I mean, you get to buy drip and get free drip, y'all. So I love going because I love supporting the upcoming brand owners, love meeting my supporters, and most of all, I love fashion and clothes. So whether I be having to pay for the clothes or I get merch that people give me, I like going to the clothing events because it be pieces in these events that be better than some of the shit you be seeing in the designer stores. It be pieces in these events that you could get at half the price a designer store would charge you for it. So I love going to the clothing events, y'all. It's always cool, man. Like I said, all the brand owners in Atlanta, bro, for the most part, they pretty creative. So I be seeing fly jackets in there. You can find all types of stuff that you won't see on somebody else's body unless they went to the same streetwear uh, event as you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Shout out to all the streetwear events in Atlanta. I'm going to keep going to it as, as many as I can because I love networking and showing face and stuff like that. And, of course, it looks like y'all love the content because my shopping videos, not even necessarily my shopping videos, my pop-up event videos are some of my biggest videos that I have on my platform with the most views. So, fuck it. We're just going to keep bringing the pop-up event to y'all as much as I can because I see y'all like it. And I like giving the exposure to y'all. But during my little yacht session, man, I don't know what we finna do. If we figure out something that we're going to do, I'll pick up the camera. But until then, I mean... I guess I won't see y'all into the pop-up shop unless something else happens. So with that being said, I'll either see y'all when there's something cool going on, or I'll see y'all tomorrow in the morning when we get ready to head out and go to the clothing event. But with that being said, bye, ugly gladly. YouTube, as y'all folks can see, it is the next day. I told y'all we probably weren't gonna pick the camera up yesterday. There wasn't nothing eventful going on. Excuse me, goddamn, what the hell? Finna turn into a dragon or something. But I 
told y'all, I wasn't gonna pick the camera up if nothing eventful was going on. As y'all can see, it's the next day, which means wasn't nothing going on worth recording. But we finna go to a, a pop-up. I know y'all love these clothing events. Y'all love these little pop-up events and shit like that, y'all. I got a couple errands to run before I go there. I don't know exactly what time we going, but we finna get dressed, y'all. And TikTok finna help us get dressed, man. If y'all don't follow me on TikTok, y'all go follow Who Casper Clips. And what my other account is, Who Casper 25, I think. Yeah, man, y'all go follow my, my TikTok account so y'all can watch me when I be on live and shit. But, I don't know what these folks talking about. They just be in here yapping sometime, y'all. Anyways, though, they finna help me get dressed. Uh, they said we wearing a baggy outfit today. I think we gonna go with, like, uh, they said Tim Boot type vibes. Some people were saying skater type vibes. I don't know. But we finna go grab some options, and then I'll pick up the camera when I figure out exactly what we finna wear. All right, y'all. So, we is back into the vlog. I have chose my outfit for the day. So, we go red denim tears. You feel me? Got my little varsity jacket on. Okay, cool. We got uh, we got my little sweats on, man. You feel me? Tim boot on the feet. We about to head out. I don't know exactly when we're going to leave. I'm still getting ready and stuff like that. I just got to brush my teeth and putting on my cologne and all that stuff. But when we get ready to head down to the car and head out, you feel me? I'll pick the camera back up. Give y'all a little update. So I'll see y'all in a second, man. Where is that deep, bro? Oh, fuck, nigga. <laughs> bro. Nah, bro. Bro, bro why the hell? <laughs> so look y'all That boy Lee said That boy Lee Lee said he didn't want to sag When we go to the to the streetwear event So he asked me for a belt I found him a belt But it wasn't the belt he wanted He wanted my Louis V belt Why Why I find the Louis V belt That boy Quan run off with the Louis V belt child. That nigga Lee said Nah bro give it to me now Bro, these niggas start yeah, fighting yeah, over the yeah, LV yeah, bill. Yeah, bro, don't be dissing YL, bro. Respect. Yeah, don't be dissing YL, fuck, man. That's that, that's that hot shit. Yeah. yeah. That boy Lee just fought with his hand for the LV bill. Hot shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see it, bro. So, it don't matter. <laughs> my shirt on. Fuck it. But I can't even fit this bill, bro. Ah. <laughs> I think that one is way bigger though. You need to lose some weight. Big bro. Say, I was gonna get a leak. Uh, where that other bill at? Well, I was gonna get that way at this motherfucker. Cause it really kinda go with what you got going on, but you know. Hey, you should've gave him that, bro. With the chain and shit. Yeah, take that. Let me get that LV. Take that bitch up. <laughs> Say, <laughs> so, yeah, man, we waiting on that boy Mar to pull up, and then we finna head out, y'all. Quan or either Leak gonna hop in the cat, oh, and then man. somebody gonna ride with me in the Vetty Weddy. No cat, no kids. Oh, I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. It's wet as hell outside today. It is a rainy day. Me and that boy Mar is both rear wheel drive, so it might be a lot of uh, fishtailing outside today. But I was gonna say, man. We finna go to the pop-up event, finna go support all the young upcoming brand owners, you feel me? Finna go see what type of clothes and pieces is in there. I got a couple partners. This is a part of the event too. Shout out to that boy Ezekiel with uh Abdominable. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm putting someone on the screen, you feel me? Shout out to V. It's a whole bunch of other people in there, y'all. We'll see everybody face when we get there, but see y'all boys in a second. Hey y'all, we is back into the vlog, man. Damn, this nigga done pit maneuver somebody. This nigga car beat up. I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. They got 12 outside today, bro. They say somebody was like murdered in Atlanta or something like that. And they say the murderer is still on the loose. So, GAP ain't playing. They, they ain't come to play, y'all. You see these boys outside 20 deep. Boy, they got Chargers, Challengers, Camaros. They got the Durangi Tangies. These boys not playing, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get away from these boys. <laughs> Say, hey, y'all, so we on the way to the clothing event right now. We was with Mar and them, but, uh, fuck Mar, y'all. That boy Mar be tripping, y'all. Mar is the only person I know that say follow somebody to a clothing event where his goal is to leave you. I ain't never seen somebody say follow me and try to leave you behind, bro. What the hell type shit is that? But right now, y'all, we is on the way there. We like nine minutes away from the event. When we pull up, man, we gonna call everybody, see if we get escorted in, because I'm not trying to wait inside the long line of people. No distance to the people that do have to wait in the line, y'all. But, um, 
Yeah, man, I'm finna go here and see what type of clothes they got, y'all. It always be five shit at these events. I got a couple partners that got pop-ups there, like V and uh, my partner, fucking Zeke. I told y'all about that earlier in the vlog. I'll put their ad name somewhere right here so y'all go check out their brands. But yeah, man, we is eight minutes away, y'all. So I guess I'll pick back up the camera when we pull up, man. Don't count no kid. That boy, that boy Mark got that motherfucker outside today, y'all. Hold up, look at that bitch. That bitch got them. Eee! Everybody go brown rims on a on a bad bitch. I can't wait till I wrap my shit, man. On a on a bad bitch. Tell him, Will, what they, what the hell we got going on, Will? Yeah, man. Big head kid on the goddamn back of that bitch, man. Tell him, what the hell going on, man? Man, today, bro, I'm trying to fix my fucking camera. My shit broke or something, bro. He said my shit broke or something, man. What the fuck? Hey man, another day, another dollar. Ugly, a hit dog a holler. Ugly. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's a whole bunch of the whole guys outside today, man. The whole game. I got um my little end dirty and shit. Let me clean y'all boys up. Dang, let me let me spiffy y'all boys up. Y'all boys were dirty. Y'all couldn't see what the hell going on for real. What? Yeah. Fifteen? It's fifteen to park in there. But I ain't gonna lie though. This in the gate. I think it's the best place for your shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He finna park. Hey, uh. Hold on, I'm finna tell him. I was gonna say, he finna pay the park in there. Check it out, 30 cents and three of y'all. Bet. I got you, hold on. They say, man, we finna get in and get out, child. No cap. <laughs> I ain't trying to be in here too long, man. They say, look, y'all, we got shiny O outside today. We got Pratt in the back. So you get in and what? Get in and get the fuck out. Okay. All that all that lingering we be doing, not today. Let me tell you when to start it back. Hey, man, it's my guy down. Oh, I was finna say my light exposure down. I was finna say I look dark skinned on this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You good, yeah. You good, bro. Let y'all park in the gate y'all get rid of me. Like, y'all, they got whips outside, man. That Pratt shit. That nigga Pratt can't trim. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We showed y'all in the last vlog. You can't really see it from a distance, but when you get up on the close-up, that bit nasty. That motherfucker is nasty. I ain't gonna lie. You wanna know what crazy, bro? I would get me a little guy down. A little motherfucker that everyday drive on my mama. I wouldn't even be too much trim. The hell going on, Shadow? What's going on, boy? I ain't gonna lie, though, bro. Nigga, say twenty. I ain't seen your ass in high school, Shadow. Good. 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 Yeah, yeah, show, show. What's going on? That boy, Ant. What the hell going on, Shadow? You good? What the hell going on up here? Clothing event, twin. Clothing event. Some clothing shit, twin. They be popping out, twin. They be trying to see what the hell be going on. Tap in on me. Hit Quan, it's one of my mom, so he can get you locked in with me. I know you said hit Quan. Yeah. I said that. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. You know that. He said they be checking. Let's do it. He didn't say nothing. He said nah. Oh. Who's that? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. They said we finna get in and get out, child. What? Hey, my birthday, Of course. They say, yeah. So I'm all for the photos, y'all. I don't know why folks be acting like I'm bougie or something. Come on, you hold it from? Yeah. my Jones today, man. I'm, I call, I call regular schmegler. Y'all got that shit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Say we got wide body tracking on the rod, this bitch. I don't know where the hell corner that is at, y'all. Wide body tracking on the Dang. That shit funny, twin. I ain't seen Ant in so long, twin. I ain't seen Ant since I was in high school, y'all don't God. That shit down there just blew me. Buddy, where the hell you going? Shit, man, we just chilling, man. Whole bunch of money shit. Every, listen, I was just want to let everybody know on YouTube right now, that they around me right now, we successful, we getting money, and we going inch in. <laughs> <laughs> Twin said we going inch in. Hey, man. Go get that shit. Go get that shit. He said go get that shit. What you got in your hand, what that is? What, 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 what that did right now? Oh, but the shit's so crazy, bro. The nigga tried to do a P.O. box to me. This boy bought it to me. What the hell? He brought you the P.O. in hand? That's crazy. He not playing with you. He said, fuck shipping it. Oh, that little cow. 
Kyle, fuck you. Ugly. Say, say, look, it's finna be Kyle, he finna be trying to stunt. Get your little ugly ass on, Kyle. Ugly. <laughs> Kyle left. Funny as hell, y'all. I'm on mama. Every day, bro. That's Kyle for sure. Ugly, boy. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. We ain't gonna hold you up, my bad, ball man. Ugly. <laughs> say, we don't want no ticket for you, ball man. I said, we don't want no problem for you, ball man. Shit, excuse me. I apologize. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, man. Can you do an interview for my partner real quick? What type of interview is it, Twan? It's like Fit Fit. We can do it on Squid shit. I'm trying to get inside, Twan. I ain't gonna lie. That man, that man, uh, he thought he thought I ain't know. I ain't green. I know you was a, you was a fake police officer. I'm gonna get him real quick. Nigga said I shut this whole shit down. Pratt Vlog. Tell that boy Pratt. Hey, look, y'all. Go subscribe to Pratt shit. He the next biggest up thing coming. What the fuck you talking about? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Look how I told you first. Kai, you ugly as fuck. I'm gonna let you know you're not cool. You try to drive Patty bit like you're cool. No. I didn't even see you. Mm. Now what? You trying to figure out where to park at? Take up your there. ass up there. Go to that black gate. It's gonna be a little nigga sitting outside the black gate. Tell him you with us. He gonna charge you $15. And you can park your car on the inside of a, a nice gated community. Ugly. <laughs> Look, twin, right up there where you see them people at, twin, right there. You see that white car pulling out? Right there. Say what? I ain't gonna. Oh, yeah, you can't park right there. Go ahead. Get that bitch. Hurry up, though. Hurry up, though, little bro. You said what happened? Oh, yeah. Gotta get, gotta get ugly man on vlog. Picasso! Hey, hey, my brother! He told us something. It ain't no bitches, though. It ain't no bitches, it ain't bro. No bitches. My brother. It ain't no bitches. Is it? No. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. No. Fuck all that. He said there ain't no bitches. It ain't no bitches, nigga. Ain't nothing but that bitch. It's a meat fest in there? Bro. Hell yeah, bro. 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 Hey, you already know, nigga. Hey, look. Pull no meat fest, My twin, nigga. You already know, nigga. Hey, look, y'all. Same mama, same daddy. We, we probably pull up to the, to the spot so we get the pieces, y'all. We gonna get this shit put together after the vlog, y'all, on some whole off the scene bitch. shit. What, what you now, say? Louis Let me see. Louis okay. Louis Vuitton, bitch. Detail. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Man, they don't mean nigga. Okay, okay. Nigga, we okay. What'd he say? Nigga, we were talking about. Yeah. Nigga, he say, he say, he say the partners got the hats man, on and shit too though, y'all. The whole man. crew got the shit. Whole group, nigga. Whole, whole group, nigga. Nigga, nigga, that's what shit right there? No, nigga, my shit all over there. Nah, nigga. I'm talking about this. It cash shit, yeah. Nigga, that's what shit? What the fuck you do, nigga? You rich? Tell him, Kyle. I do. I do everything. Look at that. Yeah, man. You been got here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You got Corvette? Yeah. Nah, never again, huh? my, my Corvette over there. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna get a Lambo like this year. Damn, for real? Yeah. Well, not this year, end of this year. I'm gonna Cause I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get something else first. God damn! That shit just fucked the nigga vlog up. Nigga, oh, steady shot. Let me see the whole thing, man. Like showing the whole thing. This bitch is hard. Now this yeah. nigga wrap the camera, y'all. Somebody get... come wrap my damn camera. What Just the take hell? Take pride in this shit, man. That's hard. Give it to me on camera, then it don't mean nothing. Now I'm yours. Now I'm yours. Now I'm yours. Okay. Now I'm mine, twin. Now I'm mine, twin. Now I'm mine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me, then. Okay, let me see. What do you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm fucking with it. Okay. You got to tell what the brand name is, man. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Everything one on one I got on right now. That's hard, Shotty. That's hard. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. I appreciate you, my brother. You said this for me? Yeah. Nah, yeah, they say y'all. This is a large. Y'all see the shark. Hey, bro, don't give a fuck, man. Y'all see the act name, y'all. Y'all go shot my brother, man. Ain't gonna be keeping up. Ain't gonna be keeping up. Still got the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, God bless your heart, bro. Thank you. Man. I appreciate it. Like I said, let me know when you uh okay. microphone. Hey, Cash, yeah, we gotta grab some too. After. Yeah, I'm boy paying hard as fuck. What the fuck? Wait, watch the mop out. He said the mop out. <laughs> Damn, y'all nigga ruin my video, fuck nigga. Damn, thank you, Damn. Damn. I'm scary and fuck. Damn. I'm sorry. Hey, we I'm scary fuck. I got somebody to do. Hey, I'm hard. We walking in, I got somebody to do. We're going in, we got something to do. I'm just talking shit. We don't want to dead ass keep on. Hey, 
Yeah. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Holy you brought the James Holy outfit. It was good. Uh, what's your name? We got who Casper, man. Snapchat guy. Let's be able to get going out. You said what pieces do I got on right now? We got denim tears on the hat. Uh, I got my MSYTE hoodie on, y'all. This came through my PO box. Uh, this came through my PO too, y'all. I don't even know what this is. Regular Tim's on the feet. Jewelry and accessories. We got punk heart on my goddamn neck. Yeah, that about it. Uh, where you from, bro? I'm from the Tim's on, he finna stump a bitch. Why the hell you go, nigga, you brought Tim's thing on. Nigga, what's this? Saturday? Tim's on Saturday, that's real as fuck. No, fuck, yeah. It's real diverse out here. You got people that dress like punk rock. You got streetwear. You got people that dress like skateboarders. So when you come to Atlanta, it's a lot of different stuff going on out here. So I feel like me personally, I just put my own spin on going on. That nigga be talking this shit. Like, what he say? He be talking this fucking shit, boy. Hold up, I can't hear it to you. What's your message to the youth? Message to the fucking youth. I ain't gonna lie, be yourself, stay true to you. I feel like a lot of people be getting on the internet trying to be, they wanna be accepted. I feel like the best thing to do is be you and find your own target audience and be accepted by them. And even then, don't even be accepted by them. Be accepted by yourself and as long as you confident, you good. Hey, he wrote that shit. Amen, nigga. Amen, Casper, nigga. He wrote that shit. I'm telling y'all, he wrote it. He wrote it. I'm telling y'all this. He's rehearsed it. I'm telling y'all this. My ultimate goal that I like to accomplish. I'm just trying to spread my platform more. All I want to do is be able to motivate the youth and showing that you can be yourself and still make a way in this shit. So for me, I think the biggest thing is just getting more numbers out there. The more people I show, the more people that see me, the more people I can inspire, the more people I can motivate. Oh, yeah. type shit. Type shit, type yeah. shit. Hey, type man. shit, hey. yeah. He's putting this shit on. If he ain't in your brand, your brand probably ain't popping. I appreciate you, my brother. my brother. Look, I appreciate you. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Say so we still outside. We ain't even made it through the motherfucking door yet. We doing interviews. We doing uh outfits of the days. We doing all type shit, man. It's a big networking situation, though, man. Tell them. Everybody out here networking, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, man. They say we got Cam out here, outfit of the day. <laughs> <laughs> say, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We trying to make it through the front door. Say, they probably, they probably the last interview, though, y'all. Hopefully. The hell going on, brother? You good? Hey, I forgot. Twin, you did ask me for a photo. My bad, Twin. Oh, God. Let's do it. Hey, take this from me real quick, man. Look at your cool ass. Playing so much, man. Hey. What you spinning? Yeah. We doing the spinning shit? <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck the heart. Fuck that shit. You doing it today? Right, that's great. That's great. Ready? Don't do that shit. Don't do that. Nigga, say. Are you done already? <laughs> Hey, we ain't even getting the dough yet. Y'all ready? Yes, Mar, what the fuck you at? Hey, hold on, bro. Yeah. Mar, we ain't know you. He behind you. Come on, nigga. Take a picture, nigga. Of course. I'm so sorry, though, bro. He catch me everywhere. Bro. I done hit like three spins. Hey, it's mine. Ready? Oh, Alright, man. I gotta get up out of these chains. Get too scared. Sad.
Back in. I can't wait to throw this shit on the floor. Security play too much in them motherfucking hot. Swing got me dripped on the bread. Okie start on Instagram and then I'm gonna keep on IG. Yeah. Okay, cool. He had a little bit of everything in here, man. Yeah. For, you, for me? Yeah, in my brain. For me? Fred will tell these all hand okay. painted. Yeah, yeah, paint it, Jack. Campaign number five, made by the youth. I ain't never met person. Built the garments. Hey, look. He gave me some shit during goddamn Thanksgiving. That motherfucker was so hard, y'all. Oh, God. Yeah. Brother came and pulled me from the front of the event. <laughs> Say, okay. Get ready to go, y'all. People probably think I show up. I ain't even keep it yet. Running up a city. 
money shit. Stand out the internet. She had a stay for Billy Idol. Turn and it give it time. Personal pockets to the top because I got rich with Idol. Only thing they should be saying is, baby, keep it silent. We ain't even keep it too used to be this shit. Sleep the body. Right, got no hustle or nothing, so he gon' stick the body. I be knowing the run down, I'm doubting, so I can't speak about it. She know I'm the face and she love me. I bring the freak about it. Can't play with me, you know I come true. I'm in a different league. I'm tired of showing like I can get done. But you don't do for me. 40,000 miles up in the alley. Time I get some seats. Go follow us on the ground. Yeah, yeah. locked in. Dot up here, girl. Okay. Well, I just had to get, gonna take the back route to get up this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn! Uh, okay. Nigga, I had to put Quan in the front and Leek in the back, and I had to force my way out this bitch, y'all. Twin! Hold on, P. Mm, let me see. Say, so, y'all, if you, you ain't on TikTok, if you don't know who Swag yeah, is, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, say, I watch your shit every morning, man. You say I watch your shit every other day. Say, hey, yeah, man. Y'all folks ain't having no drip if you ain't talking in with Fat Swag, y'all. Best clothing brand for the bigger people. And he the freshest motherfucker in, I dare not say the world, y'all, when it comes to this fat shit, man. Tell him, Swag. Tell him, Swag. Embrace it. Yes, Fat Swag. Ten, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. 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 Okay. Twin, pop your shit. Hey, man. <laughs> What's up, man? It's your boy DK, man. Okay, Who cool. Who up, Scar, man? Yeah. yeah. That boy got that shit on, player. Twin. Oh, too, twin. I like your shit, twin. Say, fuck you, university, y'all. He probably ain't even know. He don't know who I am, but I know who you are. I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. This man having the. He having the pieces, y'all. Twin, I have been seeing your creative directories everywhere. On God, you have one of the best. You have one of the best aspects when it comes to that shit, twin. On my mom, I was finna hit you off my brand, twin. On God, I promise you. Fat Swag was gonna be you. I haven't even did. I need to go put my uh, stuff in my car so when I come back in, you gonna pull my campaign, right? Oh, uh, you gonna pull my campaign when I come back in? I gotta go put my stuff in the car real quick. Look at that. Damn, nigga! That. You drunk? Right, they ain't serving alcohol in the event. What, what the hell wrong his ass, huh? He said, don't put me on the camera. Twin, I got a question. Go ahead and come back. You gonna pack me back down when I get back? I got you back down when you get yeah, back. I appreciate you. He looking at me like, man, that nigga finna come back in here with a fire. Ugly lad. Maybe. Ugly lad. Maybe, baby. Hey, y'all. This shit jumping. The pair. Good, twin. Straight, twin. Yeah, yeah. I'll oh, put this shit in the car real quick, y'all. What's going on? You good? Shout out, I've been popping it. I've been seeing your hair going in and out. Oh, shit. Nah, twin, you lit as fuck. Hey, what's your name, man, twin? Man. Fuck you, talking about. Hey, talking about. Pop that shit, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, twin. When I walked in that bitch, shout out to the fresh motherfucker in that bitch on wheels, y'all. You ain't never seen a nigga that fly. I done told y'all a little nigga about coming up to people without goddamn putting breath mints and shit in your mouth, man. I had like 500 little niggas come up to me today. Brush me like hot dookie flakes. I'm be 100 with y'all. Do y'all little niggas not respect y'all selves? Why the fuck would you come up to me with your brush me like that? Fuck me. There's hoes in here, nigga. You don't plan on talking no bitches? Damn. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. So we holding these little people up, twin. Call me. Call me. Do what you been do? You been dip? I'm waiting on y'all. Just call me. All right, send them over. We don't went outside, bro. That guy hot as hell. Give your shit to me real quick. I don't know, bro. I'm fucking with the vibe. I been waiting on you to fuck up. I'm going to give you some free money off your ass. With my car. Why you worried about my car at? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All that plan. Yeah. What you going to do? Fuck, nigga. <laughs> I, I'm waiting to get me a free check for APD, man. Stop talking on that in the phone, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Far around his ass. <laughs> I don't even know, he be he be watching my videos when he funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga tell my son. He said he said nigga, I I like y'all right now. Where your car at, nigga? Hell no, nah, I ain't tell you what car I drive, nigga. All right, your pants hard, son. Appreciate it, my brother. Screw my dog. Let me slide back. I see you with Crystal shit. I was like, uh, What's Sneak Cafe. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. That my bestie, bestie. That's hard. I keep seeing this nigga. What you be doing? You, you a little fly ass nigga. You make clothes. Where your clothes at? Save it. Save it. Nigga! We, we finally met the guy, y'all. That's crazy as fuck I'm that I be talking about your shit. And they here. It's supposed to be here, but yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I be in that bitch, when I be picking y'all pieces up. I, I get some clothes for you. You do. 
Hold on, y'all. We gotta like in outside the vlog, y'all. Business talk. And I can't have no organized events. Nigga, tomorrow I'm finna go get my blicky. Sit your stupid ass down, little nigga. Get your ass up, man. What's going on, bro? Twin, your ass everywhere, boy. You be moving quick. Oh, shout out to Smoke. So, my channel is Twin. And who Casper? Yeah, who like who? And then Casper like the person, like the ghost, Twin. I'm glad. You gonna see yourself, Twin, one more. You say you got Twin, right? I'm gonna cut y'all up this one, I get out. Oh, no, this is good. Ooh. What's your number here, y'all? Fox campaign. What is it, Twin? Hold up. Auntie, who dodged your... Auntie, who dodged your dog like that? You motherfucker, fire! Who the hell dodged your dog like that? I ain't gonna get you, Auntie. I just wanna show them the dog. Okay, hey, baby, what your name is? What your name is, little dog? Well, I'm, I'm done, Auntie. Her name is Sassy. Yeah, that one they was yeah. up to the they said that they on next time. gonna get my blicky, man. Get your little sticky ass. Get her. Come here. Where you going? Why you running around the store? Hey. Come here. Come here. You're too excited. You don't even know who that is. Hey, come here. Hey. Hey, you can't. Oh, you gonna you gonna fuck my little chains up? What you doing? Hey, hey you're so excited. How old is she? Huh, seven. Seven? For real? Yeah. She don't even look that old. Come back, come back, girl. Come here, girl. She's so excited. Look, she's so excited. Sassy. 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 I want to see some shit. Show for sure, Twin. Hold on. Yeah. I'm telling Twin. But hell yeah, man. Some killer girl. Y'all go get that hot shit. P -C -U -L -I -R dot Hot shit, man. Y'all boy go got down shop with my brother, man. No cap. That boy can't put it in my hand, so I got mine. The only way you gonna get yours through the website, though, yeah. Pete. Yeah. yeah. So y'all boy go fuck with his campaign. I know some of y'all last time you're at now. You don't TikTok, bro. You the first nigga I see, bro. You be spitting out some real shit, bro. Oh my gosh. Like holy moly, don't look shot, y'all. Shit. What do you nigga towing niggas like a motherfucker? Nah, you know you did that wrong. Huh? Why you towing these folk? <laughs> hey, you thought it was, you wish it was. <laughs> hey look, y'all, so this why he was trying to figure out where I was. You did that wrong, man. Yeah, nah, you did wrong. Did, you serving peace? Man, check it. Man, check it. <laughs> I ain't gonna knock your hustle. See, you can't tell my shit behind the gate, though. Hey, man. I figured out how to get out of that shit in the car. That shit was not easy, P. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all. Huh? They gotta let you in, Twin. It's like a little nigga. He ain't here no more, though. We all finna deal, though, Twin. They really over there across the train track. They just got down waiting for the train to come across. Yeah, hey, we all finna get the fuck up out of here. Come out of here. Yeah, we all finna come out of here, bitch. Sure, you might watch that part right here, Twin. But yeah, y'all. We finna head the fuck out, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This event got down. Been too much going on. Niggas say, nigga brought the whole city and the world outside, y'all. Shit been cool though. I ain't gonna lie though, buddy. You don't nigga deep in hell though, man. Shadow a gun. He said this shit crazy, but them boy got stuck cross train. 
Look, that's somebody Casper, you gonna run? I ran straight for that big cane. Oh my god. I don't know what the hell they talking about. Oh god, nigga. They gonna roll in the night. Nigga, I done stripped. Jet put my clothes back on. They cold as fuck. I don't know. They might. Y'all need green in fall. All y'all nigga green. All y'all nigga green. Nigga. <laughs> Them boy got stuck behind the train. Free at last, free at last. Hey, who the fuck that is? Boy, y'all like the Black Ku Klux Klan. Be like hey, boy, I ain't gonna count, nigga. Our group looks so goddamn. It's so many different sp spawns of black people walking around this bitch. Yeah, yeah, it's so it's so many different fonts and shades of black people out here, y'all. What shade of mine? Twin. You was all there? I knew I heard somebody calling me from the apartment. <laughs> hey, yeah, you getting the vlog. Tell them folks. Hey, look, y'all. Somebody was calling me from all the way up there. It was this young nigga. <laughs> Hey, it's my brand. Shot what? Brand. Shot what? Brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Twin. I'm God. Hey, man, that boy, that boy supported me all the way from the crib, y'all. What you say? Huh? <laughs> bro, the bro was in the house, Twin. I'm God, nigga. I'm in, I'm in my car, Twin. Putting my shit in the car. It's a young nigga screaming out of the apartment. Talking about Casper. I said what? I looked up. I said where he at? Twelve. Talking about he right there. <laughs> that young nigga came down. I fuck. I fuck with these young niggas, man. Hey, them boys just caught us outside to pop up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what you got? Oh, got that shit. Oh, oh. Some slight shit. Oh. Yeah, okay, huh? nah. We gon' turn up, we gon' pack it. Nigga say, now what, what can I get is the question. <laughs> 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 them boys laying this shit out here, y'all. Y'all see it. Tell them what the brand name is, Twan. Hold on, no, this shit. This ain't most crazy. It ain't yours? Who brand oh, it is? Hey, just hey, showing me the pop up shit, nigga. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, hey, this man, this man, he hey, done emptied out his pop up shot bag on the floor. I think, I think you finna give me some drip. He talking, he talking, I got a brand, twin. I don't think you got some drip. Nigga done fooled me. This nigga showing me. He, he showing me all the shit he done bought today, y'all. Hey man. You good, gang? Chargers. We having we having Bettys, we having Charlies, we haven't got um we having big Benzies in the back. Big booty, big booty freak. Oh, look at that. Hey man, so we finna head out though, y'all boys. I guess I catch up with y'all. We get to the next destination. No cap, no kid. Hey y'all, so we getting caught outside. We ain't been able to leave yet. Tell the blog what's going on. Hey, look, straight okay. from Detroit, man. Y'all, straight from the D. Okay. okay. Hey, look, nigga right here, great inspiration. Y'all gonna see y'all sell this Sunday. I yeah, yeah. You see yourself. You see yourself in the date. Hey, I can get a flip, bro. Yeah, of course. What's going on, my brother. You good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That boy fresh as hell. Yeah. All these boys yeah. fresh as hell. Yeah. All y'all niggas in the DB getting dressed, though, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Okay, tell him. If you let, no, 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 no. No, crank that shit up. Yeah, right on, Be confident, girl. twin. Come on. Your legs don't work like they used to before. Okay. Tight shit. And I can't sweep you off of your feet. Okay. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? What do you say? Will your lips still smile from the cheeks? Okay, okay. Be darling, I will be loving you. I wish I had seen that serenade my hoe, y'all. Oh, God. Hey, nah, <laughs> nah, Niggas nigga knew not to give me that talent, Pratt. It'd be a done deal. <laughs> Niggas say, bro, they knew not to give me that talent. Now, look, I've been trying to tell you, bro, I've been acting since like, like 14 years old, bro. I'm 20 now, bro. Like, I've been, I know Cap, I've been doing this shit. Like, I'm really trying to make it. Confidence is key, twin. You try to keep going. Like, awesome shit, bro. Appreciate it. Confidence is key. Got the boys outside, y'all. You ain't anything about what? Hey, the cars out there, they gonna Say, word outside. Sean, they trying to hit you. Hey, they glad. Oh, shit, what the fuck?
the fuck? Them folks trying to creep up on you. Come on. Come on. You good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Ah, my feet. Ah. 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 You out. You good. <laughs> she talking about, hold on. I'm going to get you from the front. Come on. Hold on. Egg like. Stupid ass. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They said girls can't I'm claiming my check. Bye-bye. I'm trying to claim my check, man. I need my insurance. Fuck wrong with y'all ass. Shot ass that ran all over my tin boots. She's talking about something I can see. No, the fuck you can't. Yo, Boy, yo, I got them bifocals on. She talking about something. Man, she couldn't see shit. Ahead, she almost hit that shit. You, didn't have, you had that on? You changed your outfit, right? Hey, yo, look. I just got you had it on? We left the pop-up shop. You did not have this on. I did. I do not remember you wearing this. I wasn't paying attention then. She did not have that on, twin. Okay, so I'm not tripping, bro. I'm not. She did not have that on, bro. She tried to play me twin. She talking about something. You just, you just went. I'm like, bro, I was, I'm not that. I, I was looking, bro. Nah, she tried to show some, show some love. That's it. Say, hey, look, y'all, they in the window peeping. Y'all might well say, what's up, all that people? We see you. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Damn, I'm horny as fuck. I'm horny as fuck. Will, like, he's gonna catch a cold. <laughs> Yo, son. What the fuck? Oh God, her like voice is mad raised, deep. Like, born and raised and shit, like, from Atlanta. Twin, did you do voiceovers for Pop Smoke? Max, you a question, bro. What the question is? I got lost in the sauce with the male oh, I shit. Said, like you like born and raised and shit like from here and shit like that. Hell yeah, brother. Oh shit. Brother. Uh, Hell yeah, brother man. Hell yeah, little bro. Hell yeah, brother man. Hell, yeah, like, brother, man. Spanish? Hell no. Why? <laughs> Chip on me way boats. Nah, you just think like you from you could be from the Bronx. And Chip on me way boats. Motherfucker, I know what that means. What do you mean then? You just said. <laughs> Say it. Why she ain't saying it? Dick, nigga? It's not even a dick, so you know she don't know what it is. Hey, look, it's way more dick. Hold on, hold on. She don't know. It's bald, nigga. Hey. Nigga, suck my dick. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Suck my dick. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Hey, yo, son, fucking talking to me like that, B. Tell that nigga, please tell that nigga to roll that damn joint. One conversation, that bitch roll. Oh, God. So, nah, See when they get a hole in their chin like that, it's when they when they get a strike on your ass. In New York, female, they do one of these. I don't think you can hit a punch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Captain, she gonna hit your ass and you ain't gonna eat the punch. I felt that bitch. She ball. She got a fit bottle. No, I think she cold right now. I'm not cold. She's just cold. Hey yo, baby blue Cadillac is crazy. <laughs> That's an ugly ass car right there. Dragon balls. No. You don't know who car that is? That's yours? God, that shit fire as fuck! That shit fire! That might look a little wider, bro. y'all, so we is back into the vlog, man. As y'all seen, it's been a lot going on, bro. It's, it's been a pretty eventful day. I'm not gonna lie. I think this has been one of the most action-packed pop-ups I've ever went to, y'all. Every time I turned around, there was somebody there trying to talk to me, take a picture with me. It was crazy, y'all. Like, seeing the amount of support that I've grown in just a small amount of time, that shit is crazy. But right now, y'all, we got the whole gang with us. We got uh, the Benz behind us. We got two Hellcats. We got Pratt and Mar with us. We got Lee. We got the whole gang with us, y'all. Right now, we is headed to an interview I got to do. This is like one of my first times ever doing an interview for a podcast, y'all. We finna go in here. I don't know what type of questions they finna ask me, but we got the whole gang with us. And then when we leave the interview, we finna go to the bowling alley, y'all. So y'all boys, just stay tuned. I guess I'll pick the camera back up. We get on the inside. No cap, no kids. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I ain't been on a college campus since the college campus been on me because I, I don't even go to school. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So I'm a GSU student today, man. Y'all ain't know we was in the room. Can you wash my clothes too? She said no. Why? <laughs> It'd be so funny, Twin, because when you have a phone, they don't take you serious, Twin. You probably think I'm just on regular Schmegler and then because I walked up doing this shit. <laughs> now, when they see this, Twin, they be like, oh, Sure. I'll wash 
Yeah, like, bro. That shit crazy. I, like, I, ain't, I don't think I ever been in GSU for real. Except for one time, Twine. And I, Shawty snuck me in this bitch and I snuck right back out. I was so disappointed with what I snuck in here for. Hey, look, man. If you watching this vlog right hey, now, stop. Shit, yeah, your shit stop. What did it say? Hot spot? Man, I ain't trying to connect no hot spot, ho. Anyway, we going up, though, y'all. Twine, tell them what your podcast name is. Room 611. Okay. Uh, Bug under, 2 underscore underscore on YouTube. I mean... Instagram, you got Room 611 NIA on TikTok. Yeah, don't, don't count, man. So we're going to go upstairs. Oh, my brother got me for a little quick interview, y'all. And then after that, we're going to get out. I don't know where we're going to go. Probably going to go bottling, y'all. Go get some food for sure, because nigga hungry is a bitch. It so smell like crayons in this hoe, boy. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get my shit on. Oh, no. oh, God, it smell like fresh crayons in this hoe, y'all. <laughs> nigga, I ain't never been in, I ain't never been in no fucking crayons college, y'all. Oh God, bro! It smell like straight crayons in there, hoe. This like a child's playroom, man. Little nursery room. Oh God! Mm -hmm. Damn, you see the whole little field from right here, crazy. Smooth, I love you. That's a right here by they right here by the e way though. I ain't never peeped that before. That's crazy. I do be seeing this shit when I be on the highway sometimes. That's crazy. I never peeped. That's what this is, twin. Say, young nigga finna got now interview me and we finna get the fuck on y'all. Say, I appreciate my brother for inviting me out here. I appreciate nigga for even wanting to got down interview me out. You feel me? But that boy finna pull up. We finna get the questions in and then shit. Now we finna go have some fun, y'all. You just gotta you gotta make the fun yuns before you go have some fun yuns. No cap. Make the money yuns. Damn, I wish I could see my car from here. Then you nigga. Hey y'all. Young niggas outside prowling twin. Only. I ain't gonna catch me though. Yo, I ain't gonna catch a goddamn. Brr. 30. <laughs> 30. <laughs> Say, hey, man. This shit crazy though, twin. I dead ass never thought about going to college for real, for real. I still don't have like any. I, yeah, but, like, I, I'm not smelling this shit. Like, it's cool though, y'all. I feel like it's on to experience, you feel me? But like, I could experience college without ever going to this motherfucker. You do not have to be a college student to go on campus. Tell y'all ass that much. Charge your hair, y'all, for my campaign. Yo, appreciate all y'all stepping in for another episode of Room 611. Now, today I got one of the hottest, one of the best dressed, one of the most influential YouTubers all in Atlanta, man. Casper, how you doing, my boy? What's going on, bro? You good? Chilling, chilling, chilling. How you yeah, doing, bro? Doing all right, bro. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, man, I'm just going to start it off because I, I feel like a lot of people know you for this, man. We got to fix your damn diet, bro. Diet? You gotta fix your damn diet, bro. You don't know, know this kid is, shit, bro. Bro, I don't eat kid shit. So what people don't understand is, bro, like, yeah, my refrigerator and shit look crazy. That when yeah. I'm at home, but I eat out most times. Damn, for I sure. eat out at like five star restaurants and shit. My partner couldn't contest to this. He on the side, but like, bro, I don't eat bullshit. For sure, for sure. What, what, what's your favorite food that you go to? What's your? I know uh, you're everybody right. notice if y'all watch my vlogs, if people watch my videos, know I go to Cafe in Amazon, like. Yeah, I like, just seen that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like one of my go-to places. It's like a French style restaurant and shit. Y'all type shit, man. It's just something. Like, so what, why didn't you go to school? Uh, I didn't go to school necessarily because, like I said, bro, early on I realized that like school and like education system is a finesse. You'll go to school and you just learning the same thing recycled over from the time you inside elementary school to the time you graduate. So when you really get to looking at it, bro, all you need is reading, writing, writing, math, and that's it, bro. Now, mind you, yeah, you want social studies to know where you came from and know about your history, but if you want to be honest, bro, a lot of the shit that you learn in school is irrelevant. And as you go through school, bro, middle school, high school, yeah, you're learning math again all over again. All Just recycle, same, recycle, but they gonna add more shit to it. Now you got formulas, you got all this different shit, but let, name one time you use a formula when outside in the real world. If you're not a chemist, sure. yeah. name one time you've had to think about something you've learned in social studies if you're not a historian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. when I realize shit like that really don't matter, bro, and I've come to realize some of the most successful people didn't even go to school, gang. You'll be sitting in the college uh, dorm, not even a college dorm. You sit in the college dorm going to your classes every day for a business major. And your fucking business professor has no business. Gang is not an entrepreneur. But he's reading you some shit from a book that you could have read yourself. So when I came to that decision, bro, I was just like, school is a finesse, bro. It's better things for me to be doing. And I realized that you'll spend four years of your life in college and not to say there's nothing wrong with that. But the four you, years you spend in college, I knew I was smart enough to spend my same four years outside and I could like, I would probably surpass you. Yeah, it, no, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. If you're not doing like I always say, 
to the people that's close to me, shit. If you ain't doing, if you ain't going to school to be no lawyer, that's what I said. A lawyer, a doctor, a dentist, like, a practitioner, pointless, bro. yeah, yeah bro. Because at the bro. point where you going to school to get a business degree, or, or sports, or sports, yeah. Because yeah, like cool. I said, at the point where you going to school to get a business degree, the same thing that you're reading is on Quizlet, Brody. Facts, facts, facts. Y'all cheat off Quizlet, but y'all don't realize the information y'all be looking for that your professor is looking to. The same shit that's put inside that little agenda he reads to you. Y'all come off the internet. So I be telling folks, bro, self-education is the best form of education. The only thing I should think you should go to school for, like I said, lawyer, doctor, practitioner, or trade school. Facts. My dad always said that. Trade school. Trade bro. school. Trade school is and way they make some cheese, y'all, if y'all didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, bro. You jumping out of trade school, bro. It's people that jump out of college after four years, student loans, debt, and they spend the rest of their time trying to figure out what they finna do to bounce back. Yeah. Now you spend the rest of your life trying to pay off them, that monthly fee that's coming in from you going to college. You got a nigga that went to trade school to be a plumber. Bro jumped out of trade school, changing toilets, and he's been good ever since. Yeah, down there making 100K a year. Exactly. That's why you yeah. know what I'm talking about. I'd block that, bro. My goal is to really, like, take back what they're trying to take from us, bro. A lot of people don't understand it, like, when it comes to, like, being a minority, whether it's black, Hispanic, whatever the case may be, bro, we all work against each other. And we have the smallest fucking uh, producing. We're the smallest producers in the economy, gang, like, as an entirety. Yeah. I think, um, uh, what's the race? Um, or Bro. I'm gonna put it like this, y'all. Chinese people could spend with other Chinese people, like buying their products, doing like, and they said, I'm gonna only buy Chinese owned products from today forward. They're fun. Exactly. Yeah, they're fun. You ain't gonna be able the to find. Same thing with like. Well, you can't find a cloth to wipe your ass, yeah. nigga. We don't make tissue, nigga. But. That's when you can't even bathe yourself, man. Right. So it get real. So that's why like I be real firm on like teaching people about natural literacy. But yeah, bro, my goal is when everybody come through sweeping and kicking everybody out, I'll be somewhere kicking it, staying down for long. Like, now, when you heard your mom and dad were getting divorced, what were your initial thoughts? I heard my mom and my dad were getting divorced when I was in Shit, bro, I ain't gonna cap it sad to say that, like, in my generation, bro, like, parents usually aren't together. Facts. I wouldn't even necessarily say it bothered me as much as it did because all of my friends' parents weren't together, bro. So it's like, that wasn't a norm in my house. I'm used to my mom and my dad being together, but it always was a thought in the back of my head, like, like, oh, so you was like, aware of your young age. Yeah, bro, because like all of my friends I grew up with, none of their parents was ever together. It's crazy because nowadays, typically, parents are not together. Huh. Quan, is your parents together? No. Are your parents together, KJ? So that's my point, bro. Like, typically, bro, nowadays, bro, parents usually aren't together anymore, bro. It's sad to say that, but like, I kind of was never affected by the situation because I'm not used to seeing a typical black family home with everybody being together. Mm. They always been split. How do you want to raise your kids whenever you have them? That's why I'm so firm on like waiting my turn and like really waiting to like find my person and shit like that. And I'm not rushing the process of trying to be in a relationship or no shit because for me, bro, I don't want to bring no child into this world until I'm ready to sit, sit down, settle, and I can nurture my child with the mother. You know what I'm saying? So hell no. Uh, when it comes to like me and having children and shit, when I bring my son up, bro, I plan to raise my son with whoever I had him with. You know what I'm saying? So my. I probably won't have kids for another 10 years when I'm ready to get done doing what I'm doing, man. <laughs> take your time. Yeah. So I wasn't, yeah, bro, I was never really bothered by it. Now, what's your relationship like with your dad to the day? Because I know you I fought with my dad the strong way, the long way. People know, like, my parents is like my best friends, and I feel like everybody should have a relationship with their parents like that if you're able to. Because one thing about me is, bro, my parents gave me so much game and prevented me from doing so much shit and just, like, just, like, really helping me a lot of, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the way in life, like along the way, bro, it was a lot of people that tried to get in my ear and shit like that, but being able to know that I'm cool with my parents and I can talk to them about shit that I can't talk to nobody else with, bro. They always kind of kept me level-headed and shit. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I speak how I speak, I think how I do and shit like that, bro. Most parents treat their uh, children as a child. I had a voice when I was a little kid. Right. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, do you believe that you and your uh, you and your mom living with your grandma play such a big role that you having a big heart because I always see you give out to bro. homeless people and everything. I ain't gonna lie, bro. My grandma is an Aquarius, bro. Like that's like my twin flame. I, my mama always said that shit. But like, uh, hell yeah, bro. Growing up around older souls and like older spirits and shit like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I grew up around like my brother and the people my age, cause I got siblings and shit. If I grew up How many? Three. I got five. I, if I grew up around my siblings, bro. I don't know, bro. And I don't tell you how I probably would have been. Just because when you grow up around people your age, bro, you don't get to see things from a certain perspective. Yeah. I feel like growing up around my grandma 
and like really just seeing like my grandma would have her last bro when she give it to a person outside because my grandma used to be like everything come in rotation what you put out is what you get back shit like that uh every day before i leave the house twin don't take no wood and nickels a lot of niggas don't know what that mean bro but that mean don't take no bullshit my grandma tell me shit like that so like it was certain stuff that they instilled in me early on bro that i could say like definitely carried out into where i'm at right now if I didn't go through the shit I went through, if I didn't experience a lot of shit I experienced, bro, or just be around these older people, bro, I probably would be, I probably would be more like people my age, bro. And people my age usually like shit, bro. We not as level headed, bro. I can say that much, shit, bro. People be crashing nowadays, bro. People are really, they will really risk their freedom, risk their future for whatever. I ain't that type of person, bro. I always seen the bigger, the bigger side of things, bro. And that shit definitely came from being around old people. So yeah, bro, my grandma and all of them, bro, the reason why I treat people is as nice as I do and shit, Southern hospitality, just growing up around old people, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now you worked in the, now I know you worked in the fast food restaurant for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you moved up when you got the promotion, but how did you know he's like, damn, like I got way more than this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. I know somebody found you, you know? Like somebody found you, but how did you know? Like, no, that's way more money. I, I really do want to take my ah. shit to the next level. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was going to my job every day, bro, and just realizing, like, the amount of hours you putting into a job and how much you get back, bro, it never made sense. So, like, for me, bro, a nine to five, bro, that I worked a legitimate nine to five. Mm -hmm. Getting on at nine, getting off at five. And it's crazy to say that, bro, the same amount of time you spend at your job, you saw homeless dudes sitting outside with his hands out that makes the same amount of money as you. It's the only good day. He might make more than you. Because when you think about it, bro, I, I had to start really putting together the fact that time isn't worth money, bro. I missed out on prom. Mm -hmm. I missed out on parties. A whole bunch of, like, childhood experiences that people have in high school and shit like that. I missed out on that shit because I wanted to make money, bro. But I never was able to get that time back, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I could wake up tomorrow and be a millionaire. I could wake up tomorrow and make my first $100,000. I cannot go backwards. So when you get to thinking about shit like that, you get to realizing that a lot of times, bro, the shit that you want to do ain't really worth your time for real, bro. So when I realized that and I realized, like, I missed, I don't know, so many experiences to make $400 for a week. I couldn't get that same shit while having fun for you. Yeah, yeah, real shit. So that's what made me realize that, like, jobs was kind of a finesse, bro, unless you working in a certain field. You know what I'm saying? Those fast food jobs and shit, bro, it's only setting you up to get to the next paycheck. They literally, people will give up on that shit, especially when they not seeing the results from it, bro. A lot of niggas think I got overnight success, not understanding, bro. It was days when I had no views. It was days when, <laughs> it was days when uh, I would blow up and then I'm thinking I'm out of here. Next video ain't, ain't popping. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of times when the average person that was going through the shit I was going through probably would have said, this shit ain't meant for me, bro. But I always knew somewhere down, I had a passion for the blog and shit. I love talking to people. I'm naturally an entertainer. I feel like I'm pretty entertaining, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I knew that, like, the shit that I had right then, I knew that that wasn't all life had to offer for me. You know what I'm saying? I always felt like I was a millionaire. My million, million was just pending. I had to figure out how to give them to release the funds to me. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my, uh, that's my life screen. That shit says you already a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Yeah, shit just pending, man. So, for me, like I said, just like really just understanding that nothing's gonna happen overnight and i was just seeing the small progression i was making the small community i was building around what i was doing it would go from 100 views to a thousand views to from 10 comments to 20 comments the slow growth gave me enough to be able to be like shit bro you, better nothing. you know what i'm saying slow motion or no motion i take slow motion every day so when i started seeing just that little piece of progression bro and i knew bro i'm like i'm reaching people but i know it's more people that could hear what I'm saying and I feel like they'd appreciate it. And the people in the comments are telling me, bro, like, you should be bigger than what you are. If people see more potential in me than I'm seeing in myself, I need to open my eyes. Yeah. So that's when I was like, okay, I need to lock in. Hey, billion people in the world, you got, everybody got a community. Come on, now, I need to be talking about something. We on live every day yapping. You're damn right. Because I only got, how many, 300,000 followers? I ain't even hit a mil yet on no platform. Yeah, and I did there something are, right to get your ass up bigger. And twin, when I tell you, bro, I, I only have hundreds of thousands of followers. I haven't even hit a mil yet, and there's billions of people in the world. So to say, why am I yapping? I'm yapping because it's a nigga that ain't heard this shit, twin. If somebody's gonna watch this video, they didn't know about Cash before they see me sit down with you. Yeah. Same way when I get on these live streams, it's the same people that come in here and watch me to support me, but it's always gonna be somebody that ain't seen me before. And that's what I do it for. Y'all, they cut down, the, they, they, they got them shut down the GTA spawn location, man. What the fuck?
What the fuck, little dog? That shit crazy. Tell him, man, we have crazy memories like, up there. Like, we done, like, really, like... What going on? Y'all boy good? Appreciate you, my brother on God. Yeah, we outside. They want to say we outside, eh? Hey y'all, but yeah, man, that shit crazy, bro. They done shut down the GTA spawn location. So legendary, like. Every motherfucker in Atlanta know about that gas station, y'all. And it's not even every motherfucker in Atlanta know about that gas station. When I tell y'all, bro, I went to that gas station. I caught four bitches in less than five minutes. You ain't never been able to do no shit like that nowhere else in Atlanta. <laughs> man, that's a crazy ass spot in Atlanta, y'all. That bitch. I'm telling y'all, that's an unreal location, man. They closed that bitch down for the right reasons, though. You, you know, little bro, a, a nigga died, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit crazy. Condolences. Oh, God, my condolences to little bro. Rest in peace. That shit is crazy, man. But we finna head out. We finna go to uh, the bowling alley, man. We finna go link up with the guys. So, with that being said, y'all, let's go. Nigga say, nigga say no, now we gotta jump him. My battery, bro. I'm telling you, we gotta be sitting stalling in the cold. <laughs> say, we out, man. Hey, yo, we finna go drink and eat at Bowling Alley, man. Fuck that. Hey, man, my dog stayed on me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. These boys just waited for me to finish the interview. They been with just like an hour, bro. It's time to go. I can't wait till I put the pipes on. Nigga say, hey, man, that boy been bringing the little brother outside. He's a real one. Real one, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I say, we got this bitch too deep at Bolero today. That boy Quanton, he gonna be back, y'all. I'm finna go in this bitch, go get me something to eat and something to drink. Shot, I'm hungry as fuck on my mom. Say, I'm hungry as fuck on my mom. What's going on? You good? Yeah, my Say, look, them boy got the cameras outside. These boy are working. What's up? Uh, Marcel Park, that's on. All right, send them up. Where the hell you? You said you finna come right back, though, ain't you? Yeah, I'll be back. All right. Nigga say, hold on, y'all. We got to move it a bit. Hey, two twin. Hold it for me, Quan. Yeah, I be watching your shit. Inspiration. I appreciate boy. you, gang. On God, I do. Damn, that shit just scrubbed the fuck out my wheel. That shit just blew me. Somebody saw it. Hold shit up. No, I be. That shit be blowing me, bro. Nigga say, man, I ain't trying to touch my shit. Nigga had two clothes. Oh, Gucci. Nigga say, stop. Shit, that boy just came Nacho Bell Grande. Put two hands out, nigga. That shit big as hell. God damn, Brat. Man, that is, man. Oh, they said they wouldn't. Oh, they showed up. Oh, God. Oh. Rocky's out of sleep, twin. He had, a, he had a water in his hand. Hold up. Oh! Where he go? Where he go? Damn, how many ends you put in your now? That's like a hundred ends in your now, nigga. No, 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 Six hundred twin? What you say? Oh! Oh! No, you try to play my dog. He barely touched us. No, this is you. This is you. We tell him twin. They try. They try to play my dog. I just got a small seven hundred on that piece. They say. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm kind of tired, bro. I'm not going to lie. It has been a long day. It is time to lay down and get ready to go to bed, man. I hope y'all folks, you feel me, enjoyed y'all weekend. Uh, y'all ain't see your P.O. package get open. And to the people that are wondering about the clothes that y'all gave me at the pop-up event, in the next vlog, I'm going to be showing all of my other P.O. packages that y'all didn't see in this vlog. I'm going to finally edit the video for the 50-minute P.O. unboxing that y'all been waiting for. And I'm going to show y'all everything I got from the pop-up event, man. So y'all just stay tuned in the next vlog to see that, man. Uh, if y'all watching this video, it's Monday, man. It is the first day of the week. Y'all folks still need to be locked in and grinding, whether it's the first day of the week or the last day of the week. You feel me? Work hard from beginning to end. You feel me? Always put in 110%. Y'all folks going to be seeing my face again in like next two, three days because I told y'all I'm trying to get into the motion of posting way more often, just like I was last month and the month before that because there's no reason for me to start getting comfortable there's no reason for me to drop the ball 
I know I be talking fast, y'all. My attention span is like a goldfish. If I don't, I'll forget what I'm finna say. Anyways, though, like I said, I just want y'all to remember, bro. Always work. Never get comfortable. And when you feel like you're getting comfortable, set higher goals for yourself or give yourself more responsibility so you can always step outside your comfort zone because being uncomfortable is when you give yourself a chance to grow. You give yourself a chance to adapt to something new. And adaptation gives you space for growth. But um, what I was going to tell y'all folks is, man, I'm dumb sleepy. We got to wake up and get up early tomorrow. I got some photo shoots to do, pictures to take. Uh, We got people to link up with and stuff like that, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, Ghost Family. To everybody that's watching this video, this returning, and y'all already sub, man. I love y'all folks. I appreciate y'all. To everybody that's watching that ain't subbed up, man, y'all folks hit the sub button because every sub counts, man. We on the road to 100K and we only getting bigger. And as I grow, y'all grow too. What I want to tell y'all is, man, in these past couple months, bro, and one thing I've seen in this video is just like the amount of support that I get from everybody uh, to to just see the different faces and the different ages of people that know me and watch my content i'm just appreciative that that y'all even like took time to decide that what i was saying or the words that was coming out of my mouth was worth listening to you get what i'm saying it's a lot of people that's overlooked bro and to the underdogs out there i always want to tell y'all bro just keep going stay consistent with what you're doing be genuine um Make sure you don't lose faith, and if you really believe in what you're doing, bro, it'll work out for you, you feel me? Because one thing I can say is it was a point in time where I thought the stuff that I was saying, nobody would ever care about hearing it, but you just got to find your target audience and keep going until you find that one person that wants you to hear you or those two, three people that want to hear you, and you just build off of that. You get what I'm saying? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all more than y'all would ever know, and what I could tell y'all is... Every time I, I see y'all outside, the reason why I'm so genuine and I uh, I take the pictures and I stop to talk to everybody and I never feel like I'm bigger than anybody that I come in into a room with or that I come into the same space as is because at the end of the day, I wouldn't be in a position I am without the people that watch me, the people that support me, the people that even care about who I am. You get what I'm saying? So what I can tell y'all is I love y'all folks. I appreciate y'all. Every time I wake up and I make these videos, every time I pick up a camera, of course I do it for myself, but I do it for y'all because I know at the end of the day, it's people that watch these videos and they looking for um, motivation. They looking for inspiration. And I want to thank y'all for letting me be an outlet or letting me be a person that y'all could look up to. So if you're watching this video right now, remember, the same things that I'm doing, the same things that you're watching in this vlog, we all got the same 24 hours in a day. I'm just flesh, blood, and bones just like you, and we all could do the same thing. So, man, I ain't going to turn this into no long blabber session. Like I said, if you're watching this video, man, make sure you sub if you ain't already sub, man. And just like, comment, and share, man. Everything counts. And what I want to tell y'all folks is, no matter how far you get, just keep going. Hey, man, as long as you're waking up, you got some type of purpose. Just keep going. I love y'all though, man. Deuces.